Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We're eight. Hey, Alright, we're live. We're live. Off of exit 78 down I-55 in Terry, Mississippi, we bring you Terry Bulldogs football on the TSJW Network. This evening, the Bulldogs of Terry look to kickstart a highly anticipated season by welcoming their bitter rivals, the Rangers of Raymond, who have completed their voyage through the back roads of Hines County, here to land on the campus of Terry High School to open off this 2023 football season. Hello everyone, I am Trellis Williams. Right here with me, Chris Colbank for the first time on the TSN Network as a color commentator. We also have King Williams on the camera and running the scoreboard. Folks, we are very happy to be with you right now. Thank you for joining us and we'll have more people joining on in just a few moments and I am right here with Chris Colbank and uh, Chris so we're going into this game, man. This is your first game with the TSJW Network here today, man. How are you feeling, and what do you expect from this? Charles, thank you for introducing me. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. Um, I'm ready to see some good football. Those of you that don't know me, I played college football at Mississippi College. So uh, I'm excited to get back at it and, um, you know, see, uh, see what Terry is going to do tonight. Absolutely. Taking on the Raymond Rangers right there, about 10 miles apart from each other. And the Terry Bulldogs last season went 4-7 and seven on the year. They started off 3-0, and oh, but ended up catching a rough go in the region. But they were in arguably the toughest region in the state of Mississippi. But now with the changes in the regions, Terry left in 6A where all their, their other um, counterparts in their region went up to 7A. And so now... Terry finds themselves in a more favorable conference. Looking forward to seeing these Bulldogs take on their season. And, folks, uh, our pregame show right here brought to you by More Event Space. More Event Space, the event space for the next memory you want to make. Located off of I-55 in the South Point Center of Byron, More Event Space will host a variety of events of your choosing. Call 601-389-7205. 601-389-7205 to make more memories, more event space. We will be right back with more right here on the TSJW Network. So, so we got uh, so this uh, guy that's a candidate, for, uh, the guy that's a candidate for state representative. Uh, he bought a spot. He bought a spot for the first time, and he also bought a spot to have an interview during the game because he's one of the fans. So we're, uh, we're going to have him in on the part of the second quarter. I don't know. 
Joy, you're from Clinton State. From Clary High School. Yeah. You gotta get that mic. You gotta get that mic in the mouth, man. <laughs> It's there, yeah, it's there. It's just, it's super low. I'm not close to that tonight. It's not very high. Nice. Do not be alarmed as we are about to test the camera. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's, it's um. Just an it's a. It's something, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> See, last year, nobody knew who I was. This year, everybody knows who I am. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know we'll talk introduce you a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Hello folks, we are back right here 
from Bulldog Field. We've got the South 78 at the center of the field. I'm right here with Chris Colbank. And just to introduce uh, Chris, so Chris played uh, football at uh, Mississippi College for four years, um, played at, uh, I believe it was Houston High School in Germantown. That's in right, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Yep. So, um, so Chris, just just talk about it. talk about your background a little bit. Chris, also, I'm going to just tell everybody everything about you. And you're not going to be able to say anything. I'm but, here for it, man. But look, Chris Colbank also has a YouTube channel, and uh, go uh, subscribe to that. I do believe I have already put that in the description down below. I uh, I did. His YouTube is linked in the description. So go. Uh, give him a sub subscription. He's got a lot of subscribers. He's got nearly 8,000 folks. So go check out what he's got going on. But anyway, but Chris, man, just kind of introduce yourself to the TSJM Network audience here. Trellis, you're so generous. Um, happy to be here. Trellis and I go way back, freshman year of college, introduced ourselves. So Absolutely. we are really close friends, and I'm, I'm really excited to be here and commentate with you today. This is my first time doing this, Trellis. It's my first time. I'm excited. I'm pumped. Man, look, hey, the TSJW Network is where careers are born, buddy. Yeah, hey, <laughs> you talk about subscribing. Subscribe to the TSJW uh, Network. That's all I got to say. Yeah be, yeah, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications and also share it. Share the stream. Oh, and uh, apparently what we're hearing is that we are on a lightning delay. Lightning was spotted. And, folks, so you might want to uh, step aside here, folks. We are going to stay here. Um, I mean, I'm going to step aside, but we'll stay here. We're going to have a 30-minute delay at least is what we're looking at right here from Bulldog Field. Folks, we will be having – Football, Laura Willen, Raymond, and Terry right here from Bulldog Field. Again, we apologize for this inconvenience. Uh, just do keep, please be keep your gold fan ticket. Pull that back up, and you'll be able to re enter the stadium showing that validated ticket. What about playing with cash? Waiting in vehicles for the whole moment. Uh, and then we'll get you back as soon as possible. Uh, weather delay, now 30 minute delay is mandatory. Uh, the Mississippi High School Civil Association, as well as the State Department of Education. That uh, delay started at 7.45. We're going to monitor that for the weather until we get to 8.15. And 8.15, we'll be able to give everyone an update on whether or not we're able to resume that game. Uh, so please do head on back out to the uh, vehicles. We need to stand in. Team safety and security inside of the building. And uh, we thank you for your patience. Yeah. 
Hello, everybody. We are back right here at Bulldog Field, and the the fans are returning to their seats as this lightning delay has passed, it seems. Had that 30-minute delay, and um, we are right here. So for this stream, we've got multiple things. Here's an announcement from right, Principal. Right, yeah. Make your way safely back in the stadium at this time. If you have exited the facility, please show those on the gate bed workers who have evaluated tickets and get you back inside the stadium. We're going to allow the teams a chance to warm up again as they have 30 minutes off. And we'll get started with some football as soon as we can. As a message from Principal Mr. Scott here at Terry High School. So, folks, for this stream, we've got a lot coming up. So during the second quarter, we will be joined by Fabian Nelson. He's a candidate for District 66 for the State House of Representatives. They have a runoff on the on uh, Tuesday, August 29th. He will be joining us for a little interview. He got bought a spot on this uh, on this stream. So we are looking forward to talking with Mr. Nelson during the play in the second quarter. Also, we're going to have the halftime report, the Vowels Marketplace halftime report. And so uh, we will be doing that as well. Folks, we are looking forward to seeing these Terry Bulldogs hit this field for the first game of the season. We've been waiting for too long, and they made us wait longer. The Lightning came in. And so we should, these Bulldogs and these Rangers should be making their way onto the field here shortly to begin this ball game. Folks, thank you for joining us. Hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the TSJW Network.
Freeman and Terry. The game that we've been waiting on 2023 this season is coming to a start here shortly. These teams are about to be introduced right here to the fans. So on the east side of the stadium, you got the Raymond Rangers. To the west side, the Terry Bulldogs. As they will be introduced, they are getting warm. They are getting stretched out. They had to get warm again after that big delay. And folks, we are really close to getting started right here. Just over seven and a half minutes till game time. And Coach Thickpin, we had uh, the South 78 football show presented by CPA Realty. We had that show on Wednesday night. It just went up here today. But talking with Coach Chris Thickpin, uh, um, he was just saying that uh, his main guys are going to be doing different positions here today. Uh, talking about Ashton Fair, starting quarterback for this upcoming uh, season. He is six foot five, two hundred and fifty three pounds. I was sitting here talking uh, to Chris right here, and and he was like, "Is that the starting quarterback?" I'm like, "Yeah, he is." But he is also playing, going to be playing other positions as well. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I remember I, I wasn't sure if that was a typo on the depth chart there, but um, I'm, look, <laughs> I'm looking forward to to seeing this guy play and uh, throw the ball. That's for sure. Ashton Fair from Hazelhurst, Mississippi. He transferred into Terry from Hazelhurst. High school, so looking forward to seeing him out there on the field. And also Jordan McGee, who was quarterback last season. He started the season as a sophomore. He did pretty well as a, as quarterback. Uh, had 52% completion percentage with six touchdowns and five interceptions. That's passing, but rushing 11 touchdowns with seven yards per carry, nearly 1,000 rushing yards on the season. Now he has shifted to running back for this Terry Bulldogs team. And so now you got you got your leading rusher from last year who was leading the team in rushing for quarterback. Now he's focusing on running back. As a running back yourself in your uh, playing days, what do you think about um, Jordan McGee just being able to focus solely on running the football? You know, um, running the football, you take a lot of hits. Um, but honestly – I feel like I just got to let the game speak for itself. You know, I got to let his game speak for itself. And I'm looking forward to watching some football. Um, yeah. Absolutely. And, and so, and from that uh, quarterback position, you find yourself, uh, just like you're saying, taking the hits. And from the quarterback position, you're dropping back, taking hits, and you're running the football, taking hits. And, but Jordan McGee, stout fella. He can take some hits at 5'11", 215 pounds. He is a bowling ball through there. Yeah, and 5'11", so, 215 pounds. That is, that is a wrecking ball. I think I was like 180 in college. So <laughs> uh, I might have been able to take a few more hits if I was a little heavier. Yeah, so Jordan McGee will be starting for this team at running back. He also plays linebacker as well. But we are looking forward to seeing these Terry Bulldogs take this field. I think they're about to do the coin flip. Um, and – so on a more somber note, today they will be honoring uh, Robert Kincaid, a football player for the Terry Bulldogs last year, transferred to Raymond. He was going to be on the football team this year, tragically died this past summer. They're going to be honoring him here at the Raymond Terry ball game, as that is a very sad occurrence. Another player on Terry uh, just passed uh, a couple weeks ago, Orlando Brown. So definitely uh, – Definitely praying uh, for those two families. I mean, just devastating stuff right there. And so they're going to be honoring we both of those before this game. Uh, so we'll uh, let him take it away. Delay, In 30 minutes, we will reevaluate everything once again. But I ask at this time, please leave the stand. So, folks, we just got the word that we are under a second lightning delay. Hate to break it to you, folks, but this game is getting pushed back even later at the earliest. It will start at 8.57. 
And so now the fans will be clearing the stands once again. We're going to have to wait even longer to watch some football, and I'm hoping we don't get canceled here today. Folks, you the probably should go on. Yes, you should probably go to the fridge to get some food or something like that, but keep the stream on to see and at least check in in about a half an hour. I'm Trellis Williams. We will be hopefully right back.
Hey, folks, we are still on the wait. I think we got about 20 more minutes till we possibly, possibly, key word, possibly could return to action right here at Terry High School. I'm right here with Chris Colbank. And, uh, Chris, you may or may not get your first good color commentate today. Man, Trellis. I was, uh, I've really been looking forward to tonight all week. I've been working, and uh, you gave me the invite, and, and I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just waiting. I'm, ready. I'm waiting for this game to start. Yeah, so we're going to have to see what's going to happen here. Uh, I think we got a few fans that probably aren't coming back in. And then uh, so if we do come back, we're probably going to have a, a little bit of a lighter crowd, but I think the energy will come back right here but hey you know what the uh, look on the bright side our stream might get more viewers there we go because we'll have people there we go we'll have people that care about the game leave and they'll want to watch the stream or it gets canceled and the we'll just shut the stream off that, that's possible too uh so we'll have to see what we're looking at here but anyway man chris man look let's let's just talk to you man what you been up to man man you know i recently graduated yeah just like you trellis yep yep and uh, I'm working. I'm a working man now. I still live with my parents, though. Yeah, yeah, well. I don't man, have look, rent to pay. Man, not yet. Yeah, no, nah, man, look. I can relate, buddy. I can relate. Um, but I, I see a uh, live chat here that says, what happened, bro? Well, Mr. Albo. <laughs> uh, Albo, um, wait, is that a mister? Let me see if that's a. Okay, yeah, that's a guy. Um, <clears throat> we're on lightning delay. Uh, we got um, 8.57 is the time that we're supposed to reevaluate. And uh, I think if we're getting past that, we're probably running into some troubles here. So, um, Albo, what happened, bro? <sighs> Another lightning delay, the second one. But anyway, continue uh, doing our little chat. Well, yeah, man, no, look, I can totally relate uh, with that, man. Look. $1,200 a month rent is, is definitely not not in the cards for something <laughs> that uh, Trellis wants to do. It's just, but, you know, sometimes you get to that point in your life where you're like, you know what, I'm going to have to bite the bullet. Yeah. Yeah, amen, Trellis. Uh, I'm, I'm totally right there with you. But it always helps to have roommates, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. That definitely. You know, the thing is, and I just said, you know, sometimes you have to bite the bullet. The only thing I'm worried about is biting the is biting a little bit too late, and that bullet's going a little too fast. Right. So right. Uh, that that's that's the fear on my end. Misha Nicole, they delayed two times. Yes, they did. Albo, gotcha. Hey, I'm glad we uh, were able to connect on that one. Look, uh, the chat is open. Uh, please. Uh, you have to be uh, subscribed to chat. Um, oh, yeah. Subscribe. So, so subscribe. Be a subscriber. Um, but, and please keep the chat uh, appropriate, you know what I mean? Because I've had a few times where the chat's just like, oh, my goodness, man. Like, what what you putting in my chat? You know, it's just it's offensive, you know, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, definitely want to keep it, keep it uh, PG. Of course, PG nowadays is a little bit different than how it was when I was – when I was uh, in my uh, youthful years, I'm an old man now. Yep. Yeah, I would agree. See, back in my day, PG used to mean that, like, we're all good. But nowadays, PG just means hide your kids. <laughs> so, um, you yeah. know, just it, definitions change. You know? you know, Charles, I'm curious about the audience. Do you know, do you know like, um, a lot about the viewership here, the viewers, people coming in watching? You think they're all Terry locals? Well, I do think that a lot of them are Terry fans, but also some of them are probably involved in uh, the homeschool basketball league, the MSAHA. Uh, they're probably involved in some of them that are involved in that as well. Oh, hey, we got Angela Williams. Um, not sure who that who that might be. <laughs> but here, let's read this verse. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There, will, there we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Hebrews 4.16. Thank you. 
Angela? <laughs> no, they, yeah, that's my mother. Uh, so, I <laughs> so I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Misha and Nicole, I hope they get to play. I agree with those sentiments, Misha. Yeah, I hope they get to play too. As a player, you know, I, I wonder what you're thinking right now. Are you like, man, I'm glad I'm not on the field? Or are you like, man, let's just get started and play? I remember when I was in high school, I was always nervous before every game. Um, so I just hate for these players just to, to miss out on playing tonight. And it's the first game of the season, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So first game of the like, season, the opener. That, yeah, that's got to – you work all season. But uh, you know what? I know I know they got good coaches. And uh, they got – they probably got good work ethic. So yeah, will work out. Next week um, – next week – Terry hosts Pure Academy from Memphis, Tennessee. So, never seen them before. Uh, and so, we'll see as a, as a private school. So, that's different for Terry. For Raymond next week, they head down to take on Kapaya Academy. And so, they're playing a private school as well, but that is way more local. Pure Academy is from Memphis. Um. So I see from Albo, I'm here to watch my little cousin play for Terry. He is number four. Couldn't make it to the game, so I'm tuned in. Appreciate it, Albo. I like people like you. People like you uh, really help us tick on, so I appreciate that. I am with three M's. My boyfriend is number 93. Okay. Uh, huh. Okay. So, folks. Uh, keep keep it coming in the chat. Uh, and so, Chris, uh, talking about you, turning our attention to your YouTube channel, I know that one of your big things is, uh, you know, your topics, a lot of them are about sports. Yeah. and uh, But you also want to combine it with uh, your faith, uh, your faith in, in God. Um, and so you definitely – talk about that in your videos as well i've always liked that uh but you know i've known you for i would say i guess i've known you for four years now wait is everybody okay down here i there's a little bit of stumble uh, everybody's really staying in the stands right now it looks like but anyway um always respected uh your work on your uh on your channel uh for sure uh spiritually fit nations what you call your subscribers <laughs> so um oh boy anyway, that, that was a yeah that, that, was a, that, that, that was a while ago but um it just shows you how loyal of a fan you are, Trellis. Yeah, I, yeah. That, that was back in the beginning. Yep. Hey, look, man. I listen. Listen, I'm Number a fan. I'm a fan. Fan right here. I'm. I'm certainly subscribed. And be sure to subscribe to Chris Colbank's YouTube channel. But, but Chris, just kind of take us through the story of how, like, what made you start your YouTube channel, and then its growth. I mean, you nearly have eight thousand subscribers, man. Look, you don't just meet a whole bunch of random people with eight thousand subscribers on YouTube, man. No, man, I, you don't, and um, it's still a work in progress, bro, but I'm definitely um, blessed just talking about it with you now. I'm like, wow, yeah, that is pretty awesome. I, look, You know, if I was, man, I, I don't think I'd ever see myself, you know, kind of with a smaller audience like this or like, you know, a, a, a loyal, medium-sized audience. I don't, it's all relative. To answer your question, I started freshman year of college, yeah, and I just started filming with my phone, and oh boy, um, it was rough. I did not <laughs> know how to talk to a camera. I didn't know what to say, but it was a good way to get out of my shell, get out of my comfort zone, and uh, people at school thought I was crazy, and maybe not crazy, but just like, what's this guy doing carrying around a phone? And yeah. um, kind of like you, you eventually just kind of get known for being that guy. Yeah. And over time, over my time at Mississippi College, I became a better, um, better with my camera. Um, I had to figure out ways not to annoy the coaches and film at the same time. Um, and players would commit to school, Mississippi College, and they'd say, hey, I watched your videos before I came to school here. You're one of the reasons... I decided to come to school here. I'm like, wow, that is amazing. That's really cool. Isn't that – I mean, that, yeah. is, that is the, the fact – and look, I'm not like – I wasn't the star player or anything. You know, I didn't I, – it's not like I played a lot, you know, but just the fact that I was able to connect with people. And um, 
well, I don't play football anymore, Trellis, you know, and so what am I going to make content on? Yeah. So I kind of shifted to a more storytelling format. Yeah. And shorts, YouTube shorts started getting pushed on my channel, so I started to stick with that. Um, and I just try and let the stories speak for themselves. The ones that I share, they're all normally pretty short, and sometimes it's just um, – Going over a cool play that I like, and I'm I'm talking about it for a few seconds. Get some punt, you know, some catchy music in there. Throw some subtitles. Um, honestly, Trellis, it's it's um it's kind of silly. It's not like a super professional production I got going on. You know, it's just I throw together a quick video, and uh, but I enjoy doing it, and that's kind of what brings me here today. Because I'm here to learn, bro. We're always learning. Oh yeah, for sure. And I do not really have a community like you have built here and I'm trying to figure out how to do that so I'm glad you uh, gave me an opportunity to kind of learn uh, learn how to speak live talk to an audience yeah. not, what, what has your experience been kind of building a small community here um, in Terry with the TSJW network I want to hear a little bit about your experience for sure, man, and I will get to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the chat for real quick, and you then we'll get thing, right man. back to this. So let's let's look at this chat here. April Sanders says number 75. Elijah Sanders. Uh, so I'm assuming that is family. Uh, same last name there. Son Michael. This is kind of crazy. Well, you know that's your opinion, man. You can you know can shut your mouth. But anyway. Um, uh, April Sanders has have RJ committed to a college yet? Well, RJ, I'm assuming you're, you you were referring to RJ Hall. I am not sure. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. That's a good question. Misha Nicole, do you guys keep it recording for the halftime show? Are you talking about the halftime report presented by Vowels Marketplace? Is that what you're referring to there? Um, because I can tell you a little bit about Vowels Marketplace. Vowels Marketplace, the official grocery store of TSGW Network's coverage of Terry High School football. But, uh, but, but yes, we do. We do keep it streaming for that, of course. Um, this would be me and Chris talking about it if there's a halftime to talk about. Albo, nah, he hasn't committed yet. Look, we are answering questions right here without me even knowing anything. I don't have to know anything to answer questions. See, that, that, that's, how I, that's how I want it to be set up. I don't want to have to know something in order to answer a question. That's just too much. That's just too much work. Anyway, Chris, back to what you were asking me, just kind of how the process of TSM Network growing. Well, um, so I started at freshman year of college as well. Um, and so when I started it, what I did was I built the website. So and speaking of that, tsjwnetwork.net is the website. You can check it out now. It's been a lot more developed since then. But I started it right when I went to college. And um, so built the website, and then I sold the games on the website. So I, fil I would film games, and I filmed for the Jackson Victors homeschool team in the Jackson area that I graduated with. Um, so I filmed all their games, and I sold them on the network. Uh, not that I got a whole bunch of sales, but um, I gave them away to some people, and then they took it, and then uh, like three people bought it or whatever. But anyway, I was building that. Built the YouTube the next year and, start and figured out how to hook up audio into uh, a, into application with the scoreboard and be able to announce on it. The first year I had a scoreboard, and then I was able to uh, put the scoreboard with the announcement. Did that, did it for the Muddy River Counselors that started that season. Um, did it that year, and then um, the next year, partnered up with the MSAHA to uh, keep all their information, their standing scores and schedules on that website in addition uh, to broadcasting the championships and doing all that stuff as well. Then last year, in 2022, I got the opportunity. Uh, Coach uh, Thick Pin gave me a call, and um, you know, we talked, and uh, he invited me out here to call Terry High School football games. Did last season's uh, games, and it was a lot of fun, man. And um, So did that and did basketball for last season, and uh, now we've got some advertisers. Definitely appreciate all – our sponsors and advertisers, uh, just read them all out. We'll talk about them more in depth later. More event space, uh, for sure. They, they, they uh, had the pregame show. Block Tech Systems, um, they uh, bring us our second quarter. Our second quarter is brought to you by Block Tech Systems. They 
Black Tech Systems actually the first ever advertiser on the TSMA network. They did the championships for last season. So definitely appreciate them for sure. Vowels Marketplace, we just mentioned them. Uh, they've got the halftime report. Uh, Mississippi United Realty, um, they uh, have a spot as well. Uh, and then Tire Depot. Tire Depot, uh, the, one of the first sponsors for this football season. So appreciate them. They bring us our fourth quarter. Uh, we also have CPA Realty who uh, sponsors the show. So definitely appreciate all of them. And so, anyways, I've kind of been built, uh, kind of been building it over uh, the time. And so, it's gotten to the point now where we've got multiple things going on and just trying to continue to grow. But it's been it's been a lot of fun the growth process here with the TSJW Network. And then now I'm finding myself uh, stepping into the realm of, of insurance. Um, and so joined up with uh, New York Life, and so I'm doing, you know, life insurance and you know, disability and long-term care and that kind of stuff. And so uh, doing that as well. So kind of just just hustling, man, just hustling. And so, you know, you can give me a contact. You can uh, contact me if uh, you're interested in those uh, products as well. Always, always open for it all. But anyway. So that's that man. That's that's just kind of been the whole process, man. And then I found myself graduating college all of a sudden. I'm like, hold on a second, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, man, yeah. now. I, eh. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, hey, we were there together, man. Yeah, absolutely. We were there man. together. What's the uh, update on the game? Well, so now we it's 8:53. So in four minutes we should have an update. I don't think there was another lightning delay. I don't think. Um, I think we might be hearing some news. Nope, never mind, never mind. People coming in know as much as I do. Uh, so, still don't know anything as of yet. We see uh, Principal Matthew Scott for Terry High School. He's on the field. He's pounding his fist against his hand. Not a good sign. Uh, that is that is the kind of body language that does not make you um, feel good about things. He does not have the body language of – we're ready to play some football. He's he's shaking his head and everything. Not a good look, folks. Not a good look. Now back to this chat. April Sanders. I can't wait to cheer for my nephew all the way from Florida. Okay, your nephew. Okay, there we go. So you're you're Elijah Sanders is saying awesome. Willis Cooley. New York Life is excellent product. Yes, yes, it is for sure. And uh, so. Definitely some good stuff there, um, but yeah, folks, we should we should be seeing at least getting an update in just a few moments. It is 8:54, 8:57 is the time where we're supposed to check back in. Thank you for bearing with us. Uh, you know, we had people uh, sticking around, uh, listening to uh, me and Chris uh, talk out the side of our necks. You know, and. Uh, it's always fun to be able to do that once in a while, and when you have people listening, you're like, man, that's, that's pretty cool, you know. But anyway, folks, we will step aside, and we will be right back. Hey, man, that was fun. Hey, yeah, that, that's what. So, hey, look, if the, if the game gets canceled, right, at least it was a little bit more. Yeah. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a complete place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, me personally, I, I'm late. I'm late, guys. So I, got, I appreciate that. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we got we got 31 right now, which is which is which is a lot for nothing happening. Yeah. I mean, seriously.
All right, folks, uh, it came to my attention. I should probably uh, give a disclaimer here. So when I uh, referred, when I um, addressed son Michael, who said this is, I quote, this is kind of crazy, and I uh, told him it's his opinion and that he needs to shut his mouth, that was that was uncalled for. Um, of course, that was my brother, so uh, that is, that's why, um, you know, we, we're, we're close, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to go back and, uh, you know, and he might slap me a couple times, but uh, it's all right. He's taller than me now, so, um, you know, I just get in down low, you know what I mean? Like, but anyway, <laughs> probably shouldn't do that either. Anyway, folks, uh, just a quick disclaimer there. But, yeah, folks, uh, the word now is that we're waiting longer. Uh, we There's another little streak of lightning. I don't know when the official time is that they're going to come back to it. But uh, I think we're pushing it later and later. It sounds to me, according to my sources, it sounds to me that they are really interested in playing this game. This is not a throwaway game. Because, you, you you, Chris, I mean, you know how it is. Like, you have your conference games. Um, and then you have a rivalry game. So you have conference games, you have non-conference games. Conference games, really important. You're not trying to cancel those. Non-conference games, you're not trying to cancel those, but I would feel like if this was next week against Pure Academy, they might have called this one off. Mm. Yeah, um, conference. this is a conference game, right? This is not a conference this is not game. A conference this is a rivalry game. game. This is a rivalry. Okay. So it's a special non-conference game that happens every single year. Right, right. Um, yeah, conference games, rivalry games, they mean a lot. They mean a lot. And uh, sorry, there's a lot. Go- there's a lot going on in the background. Yeah. Okay, I was not listening to what that was. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, the latest report is that follow uh, Terry Athletics on this on Instagram. That's what that was the. That was what I didn't hear. So, uh, thank you for uh, staying with us. I, hopefully, we can have some football here shortly. But uh, we will be here late. We will be here past midnight yeah, it if is, this game happens. Yeah, it is. Um, it's. I can't really believe how committed Terry High School is to get this game started. Absolutely. Look, the South Seventy Eight fan base is for real, buddy. So, uh, you know, yeah, I'm seeing it. I have to see how it is. But, I mean, this is something I noticed um, that was not the case last year, and you can't see it right now without the cameras. But at the east side, behind the east end zone, you got fans behind there. Usually they are not over there. And so just show, it goes to show you how many people at least were here. But a lot of people are still here. I mean, this place is relatively packed out. Uh, the road side is a little bit thinner, but the home side, Terry side, is pretty packed out. Yeah. And April Sanders says, congratulations on your success. I appreciate that, for sure. Um, and uh, what were you about to say, Chris? No, I just, I just think it's amazing, the fan base that you have that Terry High School has built on this football program. I mean, you got 35 people listening in. That's, that yeah. is amazing. Yeah, 35 people listening in when nothing's happening, man. I yeah, mean, I mean, like, what, what is, where are the no- numbers normally like? Can people see this on, on the live stream, how many people are watching? Uh, they can If you click out, you can see it. I don't, you know, sometimes it'll update, like it'll wait, you know, like sometimes the updates, you have to refresh the page. But, yeah, we're able to see it, what it is, uh, live right now. We're very glad to be able to bring these games live. This year, last season, we were not able to bring these games live, but we were able to get some updated equipment to we were able to stream live here from Bulldog Field. So we're happy to do it and um, definitely very glad uh, to be able to do it. And um, we, I really hope we can see some football because I'm very excited to see these two teams play. Matter of fact, if you go to the show, this might give people more time to go and watch the show. The South 78 football show presented by CPA Realty. That one is on the TSW Network. It was uploaded a few hours ago. We had interviews with both coaches. We had an interview with uh, Michael Fields as well, coach of the Raymond Rangers. And um, he, he talked with us. And uh, very, ni- very nice guy, too. Uh, Raymond people were great as well. So it, 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 we talked to Thigpen, obviously, and talked to a couple of the players on Raymond's team. We talked um, 
We talked with Tylen Bunley, who's the starting quarterback for the team. And uh, it's funny, if you're talking about night and day difference, Tylen Bunley, quick, quick quarterback for sure. Quick quarterback, but small, 5'9", 152. That's a lot different than 6'5", 253. You're talking about a 100-pound difference and an 8-inch difference. Eight inches, a hundred pounds. That's the difference between the two quarterbacks. Shapes and sizes. But man, quick, quick for sure. Uh, also, another player that we interviewed for Raymond was Corbin Hill, 5'10", 165 pound senior, uh, defensive back. And so we uh, talked with him as well. So it's cool to be able to talk to some Raymond players. We usually talk to Terry players and Terry coaches, but we we're able to talk to some Raymond people as well. We also had interviews with uh, uh, political candidates. We may be able to have Fabian Nelson now. I don't know if Fabian's going to be coming uh, now just because, I mean, it's getting late, man. Sometimes, you know, you got you got some kids. You got to put the, put the kids to bed. Um, you know, that, that happens. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't personally know how it is, but I can um, empathize. So uh, I would understand that for sure. But uh, definitely was, we talked to him, though. We talked to Mr. Nelson on Wednesday. That is on the show as well. We also talked to his opponent, Rashunda Harris-Allen, as well. We also talked to another older woman for the city of Byram. And um, we, we always enjoy doing those shows. The South 78 football show, we film it every Wednesday. So you can show up to the Raising Canes and uh, support the Terry Bulldogs football program. And definitely watch the interviews, watch them back. Those are on the TSM Network presented by our sponsors, CPA Realty. So, folks, we will step aside once again. And thank you for sticking around. Hopefully we'll have football shortly.
All right, folks, here we are. We had a little hiccup there in the stream, but we are back going. The Terry Bulldogs and the Raymond Rangers. King, move, move it up, move it up. It's not in the center. Like, you see, it's, you see, you see the track? I don't want to see the track. And the band is starting to play, folks. They're going to introduce these Raymond Rangers and these Terry Bulldogs. What you've been waiting for is about to get started now, right here at Bulldog Field. Terry Bulldogs, 4-7 and seven last season in a really tough region. They went 1-6 and six in the region. The Raymond Rangers, 6-4 and four last season with a 3-2 region record in which they made the playoffs but they lost 22 players from their roster they are looking to bounce back this season the Bulldogs have added talent on the edges they've added that talent they're looking to have a good season here in a new region as the 6A has been transformed and now about to be introduced on the west side of the end zone the Terry Bulldogs on the east side of the end zone, the Raymond Rangers. The band is going now. And uh, Chris, at this point, I would be rushing to start this game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm surprised they haven't rushed the field yet. But I um, guess we got to be patient just a little bit longer. I have to say, it's hard for me to know when lightning is striking because I haven't seen a single thing of lightning from here. So I don't know. If they all just got out of the stands, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. And I think they're going to come to the middle. Okay, so, yes, we have honoring Orlando Brown and Robert Kincaid. He got two yeah. play – two uh, – Two folks coming down to the center. And uh, I think that's Robert Kincaid's folks uh, wearing his Raymond jersey and his Terry jersey. And that is just a sad case. We talked about that earlier. All right, folks, you remember. And so here we go. Remember me. Don't remember me with sadness. Don't remember me with tears. Remember all the laughter we've shared throughout the years. And I am content that my life was worthwhile. Knowing that I passed along the way, I made somebody smile. When you are walking down the street and you get on me on your mind, I'm walking in your footsteps. Only half a step behind, so please, don't be unhappy. Just because I'm out of sight, just because I'm out of sight. Remember that I'm with you each morning, noon, and night. And 
And so they're about to... They're about to be doing the coin flip. And we will see who will have this ball first in this game. This was in memory of Robert Kincaid. The Terry Bulldogs coaches are huddled up over here on the near sideline. And they're just trying to get ready to take this ball game. So here's the coin flip. They shake hands at center field, the Raymond Rangers and the Terry Bulldogs. A good, fierce rivalry, but not known for too many shenanigans. They did come together, have a show there Wednesday night, and now I think these Bulldogs and Rangers players are ready to take this field. And you're talking, <laughs> you're talking about butterflies. Take them to the next level by making them wait this long to play. Totally agree, Charles. We'll see who will have this ball first. Still not sure on it. And the Rangers being introduced to the fans right here at Bulldog Field. And the Bulldogs fans giving them a round of boos. Now the Terry Bulldogs on the west end getting ready to be introduced to these fans. And we'll see. How this ball game will be played out right here from Bulldog Field. Here we go. The band's getting started. And now they're being introduced to the fans of Terry Bulldogs. All right. And Coach Thick so starting at quarterback for the Terry Bulldogs is Ashton Fair. I saw in the chat waiting to see Ashton and his new team. And yes, sir, he's going to make his debut as a Terry Bulldog. And uh, Coach said Ashton is a very talented player. You may see him at a different position. He is very versatile. So we'll see what other positions are being mentioned here. So starting will be Raymond kicking it off to Terry. Terry will be receiving. We are ready to get it going right here hey, I from Bulldog Field. So back to receive for the Terry Bulldogs. R.J. Hall is back center, kicking this one for Raymond. Will be Denario Terry. He will be kicking this football. He is getting set to kick it. We will see the South 78 crew ready to return this one. R.J. Hall ready to kick. The ball is kicked. Over is down the middle, bounces, and Hall will get it. Hall to the left, cutting to the near sideline, pulled down real quick right there at around the 27-yard line. That was R.J. Hall on the return, not for a very much of a gain. The Rangers were all over that one. And so now we will see this Terry Bulldogs offense take the field for the first time this season. Ashton Fair, we'll see what Fair will be bringing to the table. Ball spotted at the 28. And here we are. 
So Fair back in the shotgun. He's got Jordan McGee to his immediate left. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. He will get it. He'll hand it off to McGee. McGee through the middle, now to the near sideline. He's got a room. Oh, he dives over down to the 43-yard line is where he goes down. Jordan McGee with the first down on the first play. And McGee, leading rusher for the Bulldogs last season with 11 touchdowns, four games over 100 yards rushing. And now the Bulldogs get a first down right there. They spot the ball at the 45-yard line. Now you got offsides here. It's going to be called on Raymond. Made a move. I believe it's going to be offsides. We'll see what the call is. Yes, sir, it's an offsides call. The ball now at half field at the 50-yard line. That was a good gain from Jordan McGee. It was a 15, it was a 17-yard uh, gain from McGee. Now it's fair in the shotgun. Behind him is McGee running as the tailback. Now McGee through the middle, pushes. He gains some more yards, getting down to the 46-yard line, and now the Bulldogs are in Rangers territory. You think they're going to be running the ball a lot tonight, Trellis? I am thinking so. Jordan McGee, he's a freight train through there, and McGee gains – Another three there as they're going to spot it at the 47 in Raymond territory. Here we go. They're set again. McGee is the tailback. Two to the right, two to the left. Fair in the shotgun. Here's the handoff. McGee. McGee to the right. He dives over past the 45, down to the 44. That's where he'll be spotted. And that is a first down now for the Bulldogs. Good game there. Getting it down. And they spot it at the 44. In Ranger territory, the Bulldogs marching down this field with their second first down. Just under 11 minutes to go in the first quarter. Fair in the shotgun. Two to the left, two to the right. He gets it. He's looking to make his first throw. Now Fair, he's trying to escape. Throws it down, and he throws it way over the head. Intended receiver was down the field, and he didn't hit him. Oh, no, that was fair down. It was Titus Kelly throwing the football, so he took a snap under center. And he made the pass down to Fair. Fair, way too high for Fair. And if it's high for Fair, it's pretty high there. Titus Kelly back to throw. Here's the snap. Hands it off McGee. McGee around the right. He takes the tackle. He breaks the tackle. Not able to break that one. And he gets stopped up right there at about the 45. That's a loss of a yard. And now third down and 11 now for the Bulldogs. Now you're reaching your first third down. You got two first downs. What do you what are you thinking if you're the Bulldogs right now? You know, they've been running the ball all night. Uh, yeah, I know it's their first drive. <laughs> but, uh, man, third down, you're probably going to have to pass. Third and long. You know, number one, he looks, uh, he looks like an athlete. So we'll see who gets the ball. Absolutely. Ashton Fair, sit up. Full back position. You got Titus Kelly in the shotgun. Already seen a few switches. Now it's McGee. McGee through the middle, and McGee's going to be stopped up. He's going to be pulled down. I think he got around to about the 41-yard line is where he's going to be spotted there, and that is five yards short of the first down. So fourth down and five now. And if you're the Bulldogs, you can either punt it or go for it here, and it looks like you're bringing a different unit in, and it looks like it's probably going to be a punt here. Yeah. Now the Bulldogs look good, had a good some good offense going on here for Terry, and now got a couple first downs. Now they're setting up for a punt. Timeout called. So timeout is called, and I believe it's a Bulldog timeout there. And so the Bulldogs got two first downs, but then got stopped up by the Ranger defense. Good defense there by the Raymond Rangers. And thank you again for joining us. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on and share the stream. See, we're gaining a lot of viewers. We're knocking on the door of 70 viewers right now. That is good to see right here from Bulldog Field. Fair 
Hunter will punt that one. Oh, man, that's deep. What a beautiful punt. And it will go in the end zone. It will be a touchback, but a good punt there from Ashton Fair. And that's what Coach Thigpen was talking about, him being a versatile player. He was talking about that with the show, at the show, and Fair with a big punt will leave the Rangers with the football at the 20 yard line. And so here we go. Rangers with the football and back. There is Tylen Bunley, quarterback for the Rangers. Oh, a little bit of a fumble. They hand it off to the other side there. That's Amadra Moffitt. Moffitt, oh, he's finding an opening on the far sideline, and he gets down to the 44-yard line where he's pulled down a big first down there. A 24-yard run there by Amadra Moffitt. And Moffitt gave the Bulldogs a few problems last season, and now he's running on them again to begin this ballgame. Here we go. Back in the shotgun. Bunley. Lined up two to the right, one to the left. And now we've got a flag on the field. Looks like a false start. We'll see what the call is. That's exactly what it is. That's going to bring the Rangers back five yards there. The ball had been spotted at the 42. Now the ball will be at the 37-yard line in Rangers territory. Raymond's got the ball. This is their first drive. Now back in the shotgun. You got Bunley. Two to the right, one to the left. He gets it. He's going to take the snap and run. He goes to the right side. Oh, he's oh. hammered. He's hammered. Rocked by Donald Passmore. Dang. How about that? Passmore looks like he's been pumping a little bit of iron, folks. And he. There's a lot going on on that play. He gave got a Bunley. Flag on the field. He gave Bunley a nice shot and pulled him down for a loss. We'll see where they spot this ball. We'll see what the call is. I don't know if they called something there. It might have been uh, what's that call? Oh, that's a personal foul on the offense there. And wow, wow. So you get rocked, and then there's also a personal foul there. That is tough right there for the Rangers. That's going to bring them really far back now at the 26-yard line now. They are trying to get to the 48 in Terry territory. Tough situation now. For the Rangers, they are looking at a long field ahead, 26 yards to get the first down now. First and 26 for the Raymond Rangers. The energy in this place has come alive. The Bulldogs had a little bit going on for their offense. Jordan McGee with a couple good runs. Uh, they got stopped up by the Rangers though. And then the Rangers, a big run there from Amadra Moffitt, junior running back for Raymond. Big run there, but now with a penalty, and with a loss of yards, a couple penalties there for Raymond. They are find themselves back at their own 26. Now under center for the Rangers. Here's the handoff and getting nowhere. There was a handoff there. And nowhere is where he got. Javion Wilson was the one who had the carry there, and he was not able to get anywhere there for the Rangers. And now the ball at the 27. It was a one-yard gain, third down, and 27 yards to go for the Raymond Rangers. Now back to throw. It's Bunley, and there's going to be a call. The play's blown dead. Unzoom it. Okay. Okay. Oh, a little bit more than that. Right, right, right. No, no, zoom it in there. There you go. Now, a little further out. A little more. All right, All right carry ball all. Let's get on your face. Make sure you keep it. Make sure you keep it. Make sure you keep it. Make sure you
Ball at the 22-yard line. Third and 30. Long way to go for the Raymond Rangers. They're going to have to get a big play in order to get a first down here. Bunley back from the shotgun. Two to the right, one to the left. He makes the handoff now. And now he's going to be swamped. Oh, oh man, hit hard and pulled down right there behind the 25-yard line. Jaden Caston tried to make the run. And it's a two-yard gain. And now a fourth and 28 to go. Back to receive is Donald Passmore. And punting this one will be Tylen Bunley. He's also serving as the punter for the Rangers. Here's the punt. It's coming around. It's going to be received by R.J. Hall. Hall's got it. He makes a fake to the middle. He's pushing through. Pass through to the 35-yard line, down to the 34. A good game there for R.J. Hall. He just pulled that one in and took it back. Hey, R.J.'s an athlete, man. All right, here we go. So the ball now at the 34-yard line. The Bulldogs have it. Trips to the left, one to the right. That's going to be Kelly with the fake. Throws it over to Hall. Hall gets the run. He's up the near sideline. He's getting some room, and he gets pulled down there at the 17-yard line. A good play there. A 17-yard game for the Bulldogs, and now they are in the red zone. And they are knocking on the door of getting the first score of the season. A good punt return there from R.J. Hall before, and then he was able to get a gain there on the reception. Kelly back in the shotgun with McGee behind him. Fakes the handoff. He throws it. Oh, good pass. Oh, to the inside. Into the end zone. He pushes it in, and he's in for a score. Touchdown, Terry. It's amazing that the, the quarterback was able to make that play. What a play! He hit Nick Rogers, who got in for the end zone. Touchdown, Terry, and the Bulldogs are on the board. And we'll see what the Bulldogs do. They had uh, struggles last year in their kicking game. They will be kicking this extra point here. The Bulldogs will be. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. The Bulldogs on the board, 7 to 0, right here from Bulldog Field. And the Bulldogs looking good right now. First points of the season. Absolutely, and some good play there from R.J. Hall. R.J. Hall making plays for the Bulldogs, and some good stuff there. Bulldogs lead 7 to 0. We'll be back with more action right here on the THJW Network. So a big touchdown there for the Terry Bulldogs, and the Bulldogs lead seven to nothing to begin this ball game here from Bulldog Field, folks. We are glad to bring it to you. We are pushing a hundred viewers. This is the highest amount of views that we've had here on the network, and appreciate it. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Please do that. That would be very helpful. Go ahead and put the notifications on as well, and share it. The Bulldogs are ready to kick this one away. And here we 
go. The kick is up and away and it's going down the middle. It's going to be received right there by Corbin Hill. Hill gets pulled down and he's, oh, he's stopped up and they're trying to push him ahead of some more and they do. Down. Oh, the ball was loose. The ball was gone. Oh, wow. And Coach Thigpen wanted the fumble, but he's not going to get it. They call him down. They rule him down right there at around the 30-yard line. What did you see there, Chris? I've been in that situation before, and I think the whistle blew before they stripped the ball out. But, yeah, um, you can never protect the ball too much. So make sure you uh, – you protect the ball that's all I got to say because that's one of the worst feelings is getting the ball stripped from you I'm telling you what yeah Quintarius White, White was the one who got the ball but unfortunately it was not a fumble the ball at the 30 yard line the Raymond Rangers have it they now trail seven to nothing the Bulldogs offense looks pretty high powered you saw some good things from Jordan McGee and you saw some good things there from RJ Hall and then in the end zone was Nicholas Rogers so good to see that from him. As they now run through the middle, getting it down, about two yard gain there to the 32. So now you're looking at a second down and eight now for Raymond. Second down and eight for Raymond. So ball, looks like a, at the 31, so it's gonna be a second down and nine. Rangers crowded on that line. Here's the snap. There's the Oh, the ball's loose. It's on the floor. Oh, it's picked up there again by Raymond. Is Tylen Bunley able to pick it up? But it was a fumble. I don't know what this call is. Oh, they call a timeout. They say it was a timeout. Oh, water. Oh, water break. Water break at the six-minute mark. Um, I think that's a – part of the rules and especially due to the heat we've been having of course now it is 10 o'clock at night uh feels pretty good outside when i feel my hand but i'm, I'm actually in the air conditioning so it's hard for me to say i'm not in pads and i'm in air conditioning so it's a little bit uh spoiled for me to say but uh taking a little water break here he fumbled the football but it, it now and spotted at the 27 so it's a loss of about three yards on that fumble. They're trying to get to the 39, so now they need 12 more yards to go. And, folks, Chris Colbank's going to have to step aside. It was a lot later than he was expecting, but, Chris, appreciate you joining right, us for sure. Get on your face and make some noise. This and, uh, so y'all are stuck with just me now. The ball at the 27-yard line in the Rangers' own territory. Here we go in the shotgun. You got Bunley. He's going to make the fake, and there's going to be a flag on the Little field, flag. and it's probably another false start here for the Rangers, and they are really kicking themselves oh, with – they're really shooting themselves in the foot with these penalties. Five fifty-two to remaining in the first quarter. And now the ball going to be at the 22-yard line now for the Rangers. Third down and 17 to go, another third and long. Michael Field's going to try to get these Rangers more organized here. They got two to the right, two to the left, and now Bunley being attacked, and he gets it over to Madra Moffitt. Moffitt trying to run it. He does run it. He makes another fake and gets across to the 35-yard line. A good gain there for the Rangers. A 13-yard gain for Raymond. Still leaves them four yards short of the first down. And they are looking at a fourth down situation here for the Rangers. Seven nothing lead for Terry. 540 to go in the first quarter. Rangers trying to talk it over. And uh, Titus Kelly been playing a lot of quarterback. He's played all the quarterbacks, so it was not Ashton Fair at all in the back. Titus Kelly has been in the back at quarterback the entire time so far today. 
And that's what that's what our coach was telling us on Wednesday. He said he might see a little Titus Kelly in quarterback because he has earned the right to play the position. And, folks, he has thrown a touchdown pass already. Looking pretty good back there at the quarterback position for the Bulldogs. Raymond with the football. They called that play back. It was a penalty. So Bunley taking it through the middle, and he will get nowhere. He is wrapped up real good behind the 20-yard line, probably about the 19. And so there was a big penalty there that brought that whole play by Amadra Moffitt back. And the Rangers are really shooting themselves in the foot with all these penalties, and they find themselves in a very precarious situation at their own 19-yard line with a fourth and long, fourth and 20. And so now we've got the punt unit out for the Rangers. 7-0 lead for Terry. And so here we go. Here's the punt. They will punt it away, and that punt will be a little bit longer. Be fielded by Passmore. Passmore coming to the near sideline. Passmore pulled down real good right there at the 43-yard line. Pulling them down was Dillwyn Speed. A junior for the Raymond Rangers. He pulled down Passmore. Passmore still got a decent return, and the ball will be spotted right there at the 43-yard line in Raymond Ranger territory. Still good position for this Terry Bulldogs football team. And I'm looking in the chats here. I see it's a flag every time Raymond gets the ball. It sure is. And you want to look and see – What's going on there? I know Coach Fields definitely wants to get that tightened up. You got trips to the right, one to the left. Titus Kelly in the shotgun right behind him. Nick Rogers. The Bulldogs showing a few different packages here. Guys playing offense and defense. Kelly gets the snap, hands it off Rogers. Rogers cuts to the sideline, to the left. He finds something. He pushes, gets pushed out of bounds at the 38-yard line. But there is yellow on the field, folks. There is yellow on the field. Seven-zero ball game. Four forty-one to play in this quarter. I don't know what the call was there. They will walk this one back for the Terry Bulldogs, and. <clears throat> Ball now at the 49 yard line. Not sure what the call was. But it's definitely puts the Bulldogs back in their own territory now. Titus Kelly in the shotgun. He gets it, puts the man in motion, Nick Rogers. Oh, good pass right on the money. And it's pulled in. And that right there is Dorian Hunter. He pushes the pile down to the 30 yard line. A 20. Two-yard gain for the Terry Bulldogs. And Kelly is looking good, folks. Titus Kelly's looking sharp. And he put the man in motion, Nick Rogers, and hit Dorian Hunter wide open right there in the middle. A nice dunk pass right inside and getting it down to the 31-yard line. 21-yard gain. Back in the shotgun again is Kelly. Kelly is getting the full quarterback go. Man in motion, Rodgers. Now Kelly's going to run it, running it over to the right. He's coming around. He hops a man, and he runs out of bounds, and he will be pulled down. Oh, and it's a hit. It looked like a late hit to me. And there is something going on. I don't know if there's a flag thrown. There is. It looks like no. No, that's. I think those are shoes. No yellow on the field, so no call there. Got mixed up with some yellow socks. Raymond's got some yellow in there. So this ball is now spotted. Right there is a loss there for Kelly. Lost two yards, ball at the 33-yard line. Now it's going to be second down and 12 now for the Bulldogs. Just over four minutes to play in this first quarter of action right here from Bulldog Field. Now in the shotgun, Titus Kelly. He's got trips to the left, one to the right. Behind him is Rodgers. He makes the handoff. Rodgers, oh, wrapped up real good. The Rangers knew exactly what was coming there, a loss of two yards back at the 35-yard line. One down the go. So a loss of two. Now you're looking at third and 14 now for the Bulldogs. Now you got to get something going on. So they spot the ball right there at the 34. 
Bulldogs in the Rangers territory, trying to get another score on the board. Got trips to the left, one to the right. Behind him, Nick Rogers. Titus Kelly's been doing well so far. Has a touchdown pass already. 7 nothing's the score, just over three minutes. He will gun it down inside, and that one's incomplete, but very close as the intended target there was Ashton Fair, and it's going to be incomplete. So looking now at a fourth down situation, and now going to bring on the punt unit. You're not quite close enough to get to be in four down territory. You're going to punt it here if you're the Terry Bulldogs. And so now you're going to have Ashton Fair back to punt. Punter. Punter. Fair back to punt. He punts it over to the right side. And that one, oh, what a great punt. It goes out of bounds inside the 10 yard line, but now you got a flag on the field. I don't know what that's going to be. We'll have to see what this call is. All right, here we go. Be Ray Raymond Ranger football. Let's just see where this ball is going to be spotted. So it looks like they were sending the penalty, and the ball will be no foul play. at the 10-yard line now. The Rangers working from way back in their own territory. Raymond Ranger football. Just over three minutes to go in the first quarter. Thank you for watching so far. We've seen some good stuff here from both teams. Uh, well, Rangers haven't had a whole lot going on good so far, and I am a little bit confused of what's going on here. It's a lot of... A lot of calls going on here. The ball is now at the 35-yard line. So we're looking to see some action here. Ball's at the 35-yard line. The Rangers will have it. So here we go, they're set. Set to start the play here, and now Bunley will have it. Bunley with the fake, he's rolling to his right, he's escaping the pocket, a pass, a great pass down to Moffitt, but it's through his hands out of bounds, incomplete pass. That was a good pass rolling out there by Tylen Bunley, but it's incomplete. Bring up second down and 10. So just under three minutes to go in the first quarter. The Bulldogs have been in control of this ball game, but they've only put one touchdown on the board with a good pass from Titus Kelly hitting Nick Rogers to get in the end zone. Now the ball's at the 35-yard line. The Raymond Rangers have it for a second down and 10. The Rangers have not gotten into Terry Bulldog territory yet. So they got Tylen Bunley back in the shotgun. He gets it, makes the fake, he's rolling out. Oh, he's being oh, he's being hounded. Oh, he moves to his left now. And he's trying to run through the middle, and he gets hit right back at the line of scrimmage. Bunley takes the hit at the line of scrimmage, which brings up a third down and 10. 
The Rangers are really having a tough time blocking these Terry Bulldog front lines. And I was asking Coach on Wednesday, how do you replace that monstrous front line you had last season? He said, you just do the next man up. And folks, it looks like we have some good next man up stuff going on. That was Cavante Smalls all over him there. Corey Chambers, Jadarius Young, Jakari Brooks. You got a lot of guys up there for the Bulldogs up on that front line making things happen. Jordan McGee from the linebacker position. You got Amari and Bailey who has multiple D1 offers making some things happen. Now a flag is called, a flag is called. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be another false start. And you know Coach Fields has to be beside himself. All these penalties from the Raymond Rangers. Just not a good look for the Ranger team. They're gonna have to stop committing penalties if they want to turn the tide in this game. Because if they clean it up and they're able to get in the end zone, they will turn it around. It's only a 7-0 ball game. 2.06 to go in the first period of play here from Bulldog Field. The ball at the 30-yard line. It is a third down and 15 to go. Back in the shotgun, Tylen Bunley sending a man out on the right side. Now Bunley, he's trying to run, run around. Oh, and he's hit, hit again and pulled down. And he will make it three-yard gain there for Tylen Bunley. He's a quick cat back there at the quarterback position. But now you're looking at a fourth down situation, fourth down and 12. And they will have to punt this football again. And then again, you got Tylen Bunley back to punt this football. There's the punt. Bunley, oh, that's a short punt. Very weak punt there for the Rangers. They will get it right there at the 38-yard line. So the ball will be spotted at the 38-yard line. That's where the Bulldogs will start their drive here. So sorry about a little bit of the vibration here with the camera. We'll try to do something at the break to maybe make it less vibrating there. The Bulldogs back out with their offense. So we haven't seen Ashton Fair back at quarterback. Titus Kelly has been running the show from the quarterback position for the Bulldogs, and he's looked really good. So you got two receivers to the left, one to the right. You got Kelly in the shotgun. There's the snap. Hands it off to McGee. McGee going through the middle. Oh, he pushes through. McGee on the carry. Excuse me, that does not look like McGee there. That was Rondé Baker. Baker on the carry. Rondé Baker with the carry there. You got two to the left, one to the right. Baker, stout fella as well. He's going to get the handoff. Baker through the middle. Oh, Baker breaks through. Baker breaks another tackle. And he goes in to the 36-yard line. A big run from Rondé Baker. And you see these fellas that are coming in for the Bulldogs. Rondé Baker, a sophomore. And wow, what a newcomer there for the Bulldogs. And a big run, which really is fueling this drive. Ball at the 37-yard line, now in Ranger territory. Now back in the shotgun, you got Titus Kelly. You got one receiver out to the right, two to the left. You got Ashton Fair in the full back position. Now now's Kelly. Kelly's back to throw. Kelly rolling to his right. He's rolling to his right again. He's stepping back, looking to throw. He heaves it down the field. Oh, good pass, a good pitch. He pulled it in on the sideline. Michael Phillips pulling it in. Great pass, great play. Now you got Nick Rogers. Oh, man, and apparently his ankle is hurt. He hurt that ankle last season. And now he's hobbling over to the sideline. He goes down on the ground. I'm hoping it's a cramp. I think it is a cramp. He's holding his leg up like it's a cramp. And, yep, you got this kind of weather. It is tough. But I don't know, though. Nobody's touching. His, oh, wow. Nobody. Nobody's grabbing his leg. That'll be the end of your first quarter. Your okay, now they are. So it is a cramp. It is a cramp for Nick Rogers. Timeout's called by the Terry Bulldogs. Rangers talking with their team as well on the other side. Great play. What 
a pass from Titus Kelly down to Michael Phillips, and that is the kind of thing that you want to see if you're a Terry Bulldog fan. We just hit triple digits on this stream, 100 viewers. Thank you, folks, for tuning in, and thank you for watching us here today. We'll try to get the vibration fixed, but this band is rocking, folks, here at Bulldog Field. So the quarter just came to an end. That was the end of the first quarter, which moves us in to the second quarter. Presented by Block Tech Systems. Block Tech Systems, a full service IT managed services provider specializing in healthcare and small business startups. Block Tech Systems does it all from branding and web design to full network and end user device installation and support. With over 30 years of combined experience in healthcare IT, Block Tech Systems understands integration with electronic health records, imaging, laboratory, and billing systems. Block Tech Systems. Rondé Baker takes a hit, and he will be pulled down. Oh, he's hit a little bit late, too, uh, but just a slight bit late, and so we should be good there. No. So now, ball right there at the 35-yard line for the Terry Bulldogs. So you can check out the Block Tech Systems website. It's blocktechsys.com, blocktechsys.com. You can follow them on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook, Block Tech Systems. Kelly back in the shotgun. He's looking to throw, looking to his right. He's now being hunt, uh, hunted down. He was holding it in one hand. He was pulled down hard, sacked in the backfield. And so now the ball will be at it looks like the 33-yard line, I believe. Or I think it's going to be spotted at the 32. That's where Kelly was pulled down. But he hit the ball in one hand. He had to grip that one pretty good. But, yeah, just like I was saying about Block Tech Systems, they were our first advertiser ever on the TSW Network. We very much appreciate Block Tech Systems, and they sponsor this second quarter. Folks, we'll be back right after this. So, folks, the Terry Bulldogs trying to put the ball in the end zone again, but the Rangers making it difficult. Right here is the ball is at the 32-yard line in Ranger territory, but they've made a few good plays here on the Terry Bulldogs. 10.49 to go in this second quarter. Ball to 32 in the shotgun. Titus Kelly, one to the left, one to the right. Behind him, Rondé Baker. There's the handoff. He faked the handoff. Oh, what a pass. Oh, and it was right through the hands of Ashton Fair. Fair wanted a flag. He wanted a pass interference call. Not going to get it. It's just an incomplete pass there, bringing up fourth down. And the Rangers provide a nice stand there. And the Bulldogs do not look like they're electing to punt. It looks like they are looking to go for this one. Ball's at the 32. They figure this is four down territory. They're probably going to take a shot out deep because the first down marker is at the 10-yard line. So they have a long way to go to get a first down. Ashton Fair coming out, checking in is Dorian Hunter. So Titus Kelly checking over to get the play call. He's going to be in the shotgun. Out, out right is R.J. Hall. To the left, he's got two receivers to the left. He's got Rondé Baker is one of them, I know. Rondé Baker's behind him. Kelly back to throw. He makes the fake. He's looking to the right, and he passes it down the field. Oh, is that picked off? And nearly picked off, but he's not able to pull it in. Back there in the back was Gavin Davis, the sophomore, and he nearly was able to get 
his first interception of the season, but he dropped it. But it is an incomplete pass, still a turnover on downs. For the Terry Bulldogs, as a matter of fact, effectively Raymond gets a gain on that uh, because if he would have intercepted it, they would have had worse field position. They will get the ball at the 32-yard line. So checking out the chat a little bit now. Titus got a nice arm. Titus Kelly is doing his thing. So now, here is the handoff, and he will be pulled down here at the 35-yard line. A little gain, about a three-yard gain there for the Rangers. Jaden Cast Caston with the game. Ball going to be at the 35. Second down and seven. Pay attention to the iPad. Don't pay as much attention to the fan. The shotgun, he's got it. Making the handoff. Oh, he's wrapped up real good. Oh, real good. And now it's a whole crew. But I think who got to him first? I believe that was Jadarius Young, the 6'2", 233-pound junior. Good play there, wrapping him up in the backfield. This ball is going to be spotted at the 33 now. It's going to be a third down and nine for the Rangers. It's the Rangers with the football. Back Bunley. Bunley going way far back there, going to his right. He makes the pass down the field. There's a flag on the field. It's going to be incomplete down the field, but there is a flag out there. Going to be some yellow. The targeted receiver was Dietrich Hartfield, freshman. So Raymond definitely lost a good – few players from last season's playoff roster. And now they find themselves in a situation. They got a freshman on the field. Nine minutes to go in the first half. Next week for the Terry Bulldogs, they host Pure Academy right here at Bulldog Field. The Bulldogs first need to take care of business here. They lead 7 to nothing with nine minutes to go in the first half, but it's not a really very comfortable situation as the Rangers have shown some promise. They just haven't been able to put together consistent offense here. Ball now at the 33-yard line. Bunley going to punt it, and that punt is short. The punt rolls, and it will be right there at the 44-yard line in Bulldog territory. So it's a short little punt there from the Raymond Rangers and leaves us with 8.51 to go in the first half, and the Bulldogs leading the Rangers 7-0. This is Terry Bulldogs football on the TSUW Network. Ball at the 44. Kelly over Dorian Hunter. Makes the man miss. He's going to push it over. Get it down to the 48-yard line. It looked like the ball could have been loose for a second, but it was not really four-yard game for the Bulldogs, leaving them with a second down and six. And, I mean, Kelly's passes are looking very good there, very sharp, 
Got a good look to him. Good to see that from Titus Kelly. Good to see some good quarterback play here for the Bulldogs. Here's Kelly. He'll hand it off and through the middle. Oh, man! Oh, he's got it around Jordan McGee! He sniffs off the man! He's got green, green, baby! Touchdown, Jordan McGee! The Bulldogs put another score on the board! 13-0 Bulldogs! Jordan McGee gets in the end zone. He got some opening. He stiff-armed him in and try to pull down 5'11", 218 pounds. That's hard to do. Jordan McGee to the end zone for the touchdown. He's holding himself. He's saying, man, I'm tired. But, folks, he made the big run in for a 52-yard touchdown. Jordan McGee making things happen here for the Bulldogs. He gets on the board, a 13-0 ball game. And now we will have a kick, an extra point here for the Bulldogs. Oh, man, and now we're looking like we have a holding call that they call it back is what I am hearing. So, yes. Um, so they take the touchdown back, but the ball is at the 11 yard line. They say it was a hold. And now it's an offsides. Offsides call. I thought they would take the whole play back, so that is interesting there. So now, seven to nothing ball game. Lead for the Bulldogs. They did not get in that end zone, so Jordan McGee was not able to get that touchdown, but a good run there still to see. But that's why he's probably holding himself saying, man, I don't want all that to not get one. Oh, a fumble snap. Ashton Fair picks it up. Oh, he fumbles it again. The ball's loose again. Who's going to pick it up? That was Titus Kelly able to recover it for the Bulldogs. But that was a disaster play from the start. Goes through the hands of Ashton Fair. That was Fair's first snap taken as quarterback, and it goes through his hands, and then he fumbled it again, so that's a tough go there. Now the ball at the 23-yard line. Bulldogs looking at a second and long here. So now you got Kelly back in the shotgun again. Two to the right, one to the left. And now you got an offsides call, it looks like. And it's going to be on the Rangers. So it's going to be a five-yard penalty the other way. We've seen a lot of penalties in this game. And it definitely So now here we go, ball at the 18. And now we got another penalty on the play. More yellow on the field. And folks, you get a little action and then. <clears throat> so now we're moving five yards the other direction. So now the ball's at the 23 again. Still second down. 7.28 to go. In the first quarter, score seven to nothing. Terry in the lead. They're trying to get in the end zone again. It looked like they had one with Jordan McGee, but it did not count. It was taken back. Now the fake. Kelly out the left side. He's got an opening. He's coming to the left sideline. He's going in. Touchdown, Terry. That was Titus Kelly with the run. A big play for the Bulldogs. Touchdown, Terry. And so Titus Kelly gets two touchdowns, one passing. And one running, and Kelly, what a play. He's able to find the opening. The defense did not expect Kelly to run. He did run, and he ran it. He ran it in for a touchdown, and Kelly getting in. So now we got a 13 to nothing 
ball game. Bulldogs in the lead. And I believe we're about to be set for an extra point here for the Bulldogs. And oh, wow, a bad snap there. Now it's at Fair. Fair's got it. It was incomplete. And so a botched play for the extra point will make it no good. So it's 13 to nothing. Bulldogs in the lead. They lead by two scores, but it's only 13. 13-0. 13 Terry Bulldogs, thank you for joining us. This is the Terry Bulldogs football on the TSJW Network. I am Trellis Williams. I'm looking at the chat. Titus Kelly, April Sanders says, Titus Kelly with three exclamation points. You ain't kidding. Titus Kelly putting on a show here at Bulldog Field, showing his improvement he's made over the course of the offseason. The Bulldogs will make this kickoff to the Raymond Rangers. The Bulldogs lead 13 to nothing with 7.15 to go. In the first half, this is the second quarter brought to you by Block Tech Systems. Their website is blocktechsys.com, blocktechsys.com. Ball will be kicked off to the Rangers now. Back to receive for Raymond will be Dietrich Hartfield, the freshman. And the Bulldogs about to send it away. <clears throat> Just over seven minutes to go in the first half. And he's going to send it away. This one is short. He makes this one short. It's going to be fielded. Oh, it's fumbled. It's fumbled. Who's got the ball? Who's got the ball? Who's got the ball? It's the Terry Bulldogs. They've got the ball. In Ranger territory, Amandra Muffet muffled it. And who picked it up? I was not able to see who picked it up. I believe it was Amari and Bailey. The ball now at the 36-yard line, and it is Bulldog ball. Once again, the Bulldogs are hyped on the sideline. And the Bulldogs trying to take this over. If they're able to get in the end zone again, that will put Raymond in a rough situation going into the second half. It's still seven minutes to go here in this first half with a 13 to nothing ball game. Bulldogs in the lead. He got trips to the left, one to the right. You got Titus Kelly's going to be in the shotgun with Rondé Baker behind him. Running as the tailback. Getting ready for the snap. Ashton Fair now lined up on the right side. And now there's going to be something called. I don't know if it's going to be a timeout. It will be a timeout, it looks like. And it will be a timeout for Terry. The Bulldogs call time. They want to get something together. They lead 13 to nothing, but they're trying to put Raymond in bad scenario here in the first half. 7.08 to go in this first half. So, Lil Will says, Maine ain't no way. I know. Ramona's World says, that's crazy. Yes, a big play there. And Terry, out of timeouts now. They have no more left. They have been using up those timeouts in this ball game. And Bulldogs trying to push this lead away. Big play, though, making that short punt. I just remember they did it against Northwest Rankin last season with that short uh, pooch punt. Able to make them muffle it and then pick it up. But a great play there by the Bulldogs. They're really taking it to Raymond so far in this ball game. Ball now is at the 37 yard line. The Bulldogs have it. Kelly in the shotgun. Trips to the left, one to the right. Behind him is Rondé Baker. There's the snap. He fakes it. He's looking to throw. Now they call it dead at the line of scrimmage.
going back to one of the chats, uh, Ramona's World says, they calling too much. Yeah, there's a lot of calls out there, but well, start calling really the guys sure. need to get it straight, get uh, get themselves uh, sharp. Uh, first game of the season, uh, kind of what you expect here. Ball is at the 41-yard line now. First down and 15 for the Bulldogs. 7.08 to go in the first half. It's definitely slowing the game down. It is 10. It is 10.40 out here. Oh, good pass to Will Johnson, who's hit and pulled down at the 28-yard line. And a good pass from Kelly. And a good play there, a 13-yard gain for the Bulldogs. Getting the first down right there at the 20, 29, it looks like. Just a yard short of the first down. Second down and one. Now we'll see. Three to the right, one to the left. Kelly in the shotgun. Rondé Baker serving as the tailback. Is back, Kelly with the fake. Kelly rolling to the right, getting out of the pocket. Good pass down the field. Oh, it's it's off the mark. Intended receiver was Michael Phillips, who he completed a nice bomb earlier. That one was nowhere near him, incomplete. Bringing up a third down now, third and one. So, so they call the water break the six-minute halfway through the quarter water break. So we got more. We've got six and a half more minutes of the Block Tech System second quarter right here after this. Third and one, Bulldogs lined up, here we go. There's the handoff, Rondé Baker right through the middle, he gets the first down and more, he spins, he goes down inside to the 20 yard line. So right at the edge of the red zone for the Bulldogs, a first down. He will get the first down, here's Terry Bulldogs. Folks, thank you for subscribing to the TSJW Network YouTube channel. We've gained 30 subscribers during this stream. Please, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the TSJW Network YouTube channel. As now that was a pretty good run there. Getting it down inside. Now you're getting it down inside to the five yard line. So a big first down there for the Bulldogs. Ball off the five yard line. They're trying to get in. He got three to the right, one to the left. Will Johnson, the lone receiver to the left. Now here's the snap. He hands it off. Baker. Baker cuts in. Baker dives in. Oh, the ball is loose. Picked up by Raymond. Do they call the touchdown first? They do. Touchdown. Terry Rondé Baker makes a house call to the end zone. And the Bulldogs get their third touchdown of the ball game, 19-0. And now they're going to look to convert after this touchdown. That was Rondé Baker, who's been – doing good things all day, making big runs for this Terry Bulldogs football team, and now they're set up for that extra point. 19-0, they're trying to make it 20-0. It's set, it's up, it's now ah, off to the left, no good. It's the play clock. The extra point is no good, so special team woes continue to haunt the Terry Bulldogs. They're going to try to get this right, though. Try to get this right as time goes on. That was an extra point that was off, but 19 nothing lead for the Bulldogs. They're still getting in the end zone. And the third touchdown for the Bulldogs. That time it was Rondé Baker. 
And Raymond looking to answer. Last season, the Terry Bulldogs won the game 14-7. to It was a lot closer. Today, the Bulldogs have really just been dominant on both sides of the ball. I mean, the Bulldogs have made a lot of mistakes when it comes to um, penalties as well as Raymond. Raymond has done it a little bit more, but Terry has – Made mistakes as well on that, but they've bounced back and been able to put the ball in the end zone anyway, and that was Rondé Baker that time. Uh, the first touchdown was a Titus Kelly pass, a screen pass into Nick Rogers. The second one was Titus Kelly run across the outside into the end zone. Terry, and then the last one, gone. Rondé Baker right up the gut for a five-yard touchdown run. So now the Terry Bulldogs looking to kick it off to the Raymond Rangers now with 5.38 to go in the first half. Set to kick. He will send it. He will send it short. And the Rangers trying to make sure not to muff this one. Now they pick it up. Oh, he got, oh, he got it. He runs around. And now he's pulled down in the backfield. And Dietrich Hartfield not really getting much of a gain. He ran more. He ran a long way to gain like about two yards in the ball. Now going to be spotted at the 15-yard line in their own territory. And the Rangers get really bad. Field position there. 10.46 p.m. is the time. We're still in the first half, folks. Five and a half minutes to go. In the first half, we got a lot of football to be played. Now here we go in the shotgun is Tylen Bunley. He's back. He's got it. He's running it to his left, and he will be hit and wrapped up there. Right there at about the 17-yard line, looking at a two-yard gain there for the Rangers. Now, second down and eight. Second down and eight for Rangers. 19-0 Terry lead. Is in a little bit? We will have the halftime report brought to you by Vowels Marketplace. That will be. In a little bit, we got the clock running under five minutes to go in this first half, and we'll have halftime. We thought we were going to get an interview with Fabian Nelson, but I think Fabian might be in bed. I don't know. He's going to he's gonna have to let me know. Bunley back at quarterback. He gets it. He's rolling to his right. He's just trying to find something. And there's a flag on the play already, and he kind of tosses it out of bounds and well, it gets hit, the and there's a flag. The, the Rangers really just struggling to hold off this defensive line from Terry. And if you're a Bulldog fan, you're really hoping that, the, that this uh, Bulldogs front line will be effective against everybody at play. They've been able to be effective in this game, but, you know, Raymond has some really good players at those skill positions. The Bulldogs just a little bit bigger up there. I mean, Elijah Sanders, you're talking about a big old boy up there, and he's been making he's been making a lot of things happen on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, you got Jordan McGee very active there, Amari and Bailey very active there, I and mean, the Bulldogs just all hands on deck in this game. Coach Thigpen definitely using. Recycling his players, using them on both sides of the ball. Jordan McGee is actually using him more on the defensive side than on the offensive side. They got another whistle ball blown dead again. We've seen a lot of penalties in this ball game for both teams, but especially Raymond. I don't know what they call it there, but the ball's at the five-yard line. Rangers have it. They're trying to get it to the 25. They're looking at a second down and long. They're trying to talk it over, trying to get up a play, trying to get up a good one to get it down this field. The Bulldogs are really. April Sanders says, yes, he is my nephew, a beast. Yeah, oh, yeah. Big old, big old boy, I'll tell you. Looks like they're moving the ball now to, wait, ball's at the nine, it looks like. Uh. 
Second and 16 now for the Rangers. Got two receivers out wide. Bunley gets it. He's looking. Makes. Now a run is off the handoff. He's going to make it to the 15, maybe. Might have gotten stopped there at the 14. Right, right, right. Raymond. Make it to about the 15-yard line. They're set up third down. Make some noise. It's third down. It's a ball at the 15. Now a third down and 10 now, and the Rangers really want to be able to convert on this third down. They have really struggled converting on third down here. Really want to break it. If you're the Rangers, you really want to break out a big old play right about now. Trailing 19 nothing under four minutes to go in the first half. I really want to make something go before the halftime. Two receivers out right, wide. Here's the snap. Looking to throw it, Bunley, and it will be incomplete. Bunley's flash goes incomplete. Trying to make that pass down the field. Intended target was Nick Tavius Collins, and it was incomplete. Not able to reach Nick Tavius there. So now you're looking at a fourth down. They're looking to punt it here. Tylen Bunley will be punting the football. He's a jack of all trades there. Raven, we're punting away. And now the punt, good punt there. It's going to be received by Passmore. Passmore up the middle. Now Passmore gets an opening. Now Passmore cutting through. Oh, he's got Green Green, baby! Down on Passmore! To the house! Touchdown! Passmore! The Bulldogs with their fourth touchdown play. They lead 25 to nothing here at Bulldog Field. Did you see Donald Passmore? He went to the right, cut to the left, and found all green. And it was Donald Passmore all the way to the end zone for another TD. Fourth touchdown of the ball game for the Bulldogs, 25 to nothing. And now we'll see if the Bulldogs bring out the extra point unit or if they're going to go for two. But the Bulldogs look like they are about to put the Rangers away. It's kind of what I'm starting to see in the chat. But, folks, I definitely I definitely can see the Rangers. I definitely see that they have the potential to break off a big play, and that's really all you need to get some momentum here. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. McGee is right behind Titus Kelly. Kelly will get it, hand it off to McGee. McGee will push it through, and he'll be pulled down. Another... Another point after touchdown denied and failed for the Terry Bulldogs. It is 25 to 0. But if you're able to put it, if you're able to put it in the end zone like the Bulldogs are able to do tonight, you are happy to see it. You'll take it. 25 to 0. Terry Bulldogs all over the Raymond Rangers here tonight. 305 to go in the first half. The Rangers trying to get, a, get some get some air here. So Rangers looking to get a little bit of momentum here before halftime. 25-0. And so if you haven't been with us this whole time, the first touchdown was a pass from Titus Kelly to Nick Rogers, who got in the end zone for the touchdown. The second one was R.J. Hall. Getting in a, the second one was Titus Kelly to the outside, a run okay. in the to the end zone for a touchdown. Then the third one was... Rondé Baker up the middle, through the gut, in. And then the fourth one, a punt return by Donald Passmore into the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, it's dropped, picked back up again. That is Corbin Hill. Hill through the middle. Hill trying to get down there, and he does. Past the 30-yard line, and he will be pulled down at the 33. Hill on the return. Second down to the 33-yard line. That'll be where the Raymond Rangers begin their drive. First down and 10, Reyna. Right 
Ball at the 32-yard line. As Raymond tries to make a drive here with 2.59 to go in the first half. Again, just as I said before, we've got the halftime report presented by Vowels coming up shortly. The fake handoff. Bunley takes the sack. Pulled down again. Bunley having a rough day. Not, not too much protection back there. And this ball is going to be spotted probably right there at the 34, 35 yard line. Rangers just kind of struggling to get it past that line of scrimmage now with the blocking. Rangers, a 4A school. Terry, a 6A school. Bulldogs definitely have a bigger school here. He got some big old boys on that defensive line. So up at the line, at the 35-yard line, the Rangers have it. Have two receivers out wide. Bunley makes the handoff. It's gonna, it looks like it's going to be casting. He's going to be pulled down. Going to be stopped up. 28. So it was the, it was the uh, 25 to a 28. Now it's a third down and 14 situation here. All right, here we go. Ball right there at the 28-yard line. Now it's going to be Bunley getting it. He makes the fake, and he's going to his right, rolling to his right, able to get away from the defense, throws it down the field, and that pass is a little high, and there's a little bit of contact. It's an incomplete pass. He, he was targeted down the field to Dietrich Hartfield. It was just a little bit too high for him, but you got to get handed to Bunley. Bunley quick, fast, able to elude the tacklers. Make the throw just a little bit high. Bring it up fourth down, and they will punt it once again. And the punt is done by, of course, Tylen Bunley. He's going to punt it down. You got Donald Passmore and R.J. Hall back to receive. Passmore on the last punt took it back for a touchdown for a 50-yard punt return. This one is short as well. Passmore is going to get this one too. He's going to his left. Will he get another one? He's got some room on the left side. He's going. He's going to be pulled down. Oh, man. And Passmore returns it. There was no way that Ahmad Anderson was going to let Donald Passmore get away with a second one. Ahmad Anderson pulled him down, but Passmore got a good head of steam coming down that field, gets to the 39-yard line in a Ranger territory. And another good, great field position situation here for the Bulldogs. And they're going to try to put it in the end zone again before this half is over. He got 107 to go. Here in the first half, this is Terry Bulldogs football on the TSJW Network. So they bring it back. I don't know why. They have the ball at the 35-yard line. Ashton Fair going to take it in behind again. Oh, he's taking it to the right side, and he takes the contact and bowls over him down to the 47-yard line. That is 250 pounds barreling through there. It's up. So the last one was a hold on that return, and so that punt return was not, and that's why I was back there. Bought the 45 now, first down and 10. is a first down there for Ashton Fair. Now you got Titus Kelly back there. Kelly back to throw. He throws it over. A little high, but Will Johnson able to pull it in. Will Johnson breaks a tackle, and he gets hit again, and he's still up. He's trying to fight for more yards. And 40, the 48-yard line is where it will be spotted. 49 is where they're going to spot it. 
Good gain there, a six-yard gain. Good pass from Titus Kelly. A little bit high, but Will Johnson able to go up there and pull it in. Will Johnson, excellent receiver for the Terry Bulldogs. you got two receivers to the left, two to the right. Now you got Kelly back in the shotgun. He's back to throw. He's looking down this field again. He's trying to elude the tacklers, and he will be sacked right there at the 49-yard line. Kelly is pulled down hard, and you hope he's okay. It looks like he's going to get up. Is he going to get up? I see Kelly is still on the ground, and he will get up, helped up by Will Johnson. And that, the clock runs out, folks, and that will end the Block Tech System second quarter and bring us halftime from Bulldog Field. The score, the Terry Bulldogs, 25. The Raymond Rangers, nothing. And we got another half of football to play right here at Bulldog Field, and we'll see what we have going on. But right now, first coming up shortly will be the halftime report brought to you by Vowels Marketplace in Byron.
to the field, your 2023 Bulldog Marching Band. Tonight they will be playing a preview of their competition field show title, Imaginarium. Drum Major Roy King, is your band ready? Right, folks. Here we are for the halftime report brought to you by Vowels Marketplace of Byron. Vowels Marketplace, the official grocery store of TSJW Network's coverage of Terry High School football. Folks, we are here for the halftime report. The score, Terry Bulldogs 25, the Raymond Rangers 0. And, folks, it has been all Terry Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have dominated on both sides of the football. Raymond has also been plagued by penalties. They have just been shooting themselves in the foot in addition to just being dominated by these Terry Bulldogs. We'll see what the second half has in store, but to check a little bit of the chat here. Lil Will says, come on, man, it's only the second quarter. Never know what happens in the second half. That is true. We will have to see what happens in the second half. Um, the Rangers will have to come in with a lot of force and make a big run in order to come back in this ballgame. They are down 25-0. to They're going to have to stop the Bulldogs as well. <clears throat> Chris Colbank says, I'm here, bro. He says, dang, 25-0. I must have missed some big plays. Yeah, Chris, man. It's a lot of good stuff that happened. But, hey, I miss you, man. Uh but, yeah, we it, we are up late, folks, 11.14 p.m. It's halftime from Bulldog Field. The Bulldogs lead 25-0, to and that's actually kind of one of the things I kind of want to talk about a little bit, and I kind of want to ask the chat if you guys are engaged. Please engage in the chat to some of the things I'm talking about. Do you think that some of these players are more affected by playing this late than others because some of these players might not be used to playing this late at night. So you can talk about that in the chat a little bit. But the score, 25-0, to zero. Terry in front. Now, to look at a few scores around the 
Mississippi around the state uh, for football here Friday night. Uh, this is the it's the job that uh, we had um Patrick here doing Miss uh, Miss Old Patrick uh, for this season. But uh, just looking around, you got South Panola beating Houston High School by a score of 28-26. Close ball game there, but South Panola 14th ranked coming out on top. They, I think they took on Houston. That I think that, yeah, no, that is actually Chris's alma mater right there that he played. Houston High School uh, from Memphis beat them 28 to 26. Then Houston High School in Mississippi got the win 22 to 16 over Columbus. Florence and Forest Hill. So this is an in region. This is uh, Forest Hill in Terry's region. Florence beating Forest Hill 57 to nothing. Oh my goodness! Florence must have a pretty good team. Florence, a 5A school, taking the 57 to nothing win there. Um, looking at some other ones here. Uh, Perry Central getting the win over Heidelberg 44 to 12. Collins High School beating Northeast Jones 17-6 to at Northeast Jones. Right now live in the third quarter, Pascagoula and Moss Point. Pascagoula up 10-0. to Gulfport beating Gaudier 42-0. to Gulfport not ranked. Gaudier number 18, which I'm surprised Gulfport was not ranked, but they won 42-0. to They showed who was the better team there. Mendenhall beating Hazelhurst 40-6. to And... Looking at some other ones here. Ocean Springs and Madison Central, number six and number seven ranked in the state. 7A competition. Madison Central getting the win 15 to 14. Wow, it's a close one there. Uh, Macomb and Jim Hill still in the fourth quarter. Macomb up 35 to zero over Jim Hill. South Pike and Pearl River Central. So Pearl River Central also in Terry's region. South Pike all over Pearl River Central, 34 to zero. South Pike, a 3A school, beating Pearl River Central, 34 to zero. Pearl River Central in Terry's district. So you got two teams in Terry's district getting shut out here on opening week. And the Bulldogs, all they have to do is be is finish above two of the teams in their region to make the playoffs a lot easier of a path than last season. Last season they were in arguably the toughest region in the state and I'm uh, okay I get a message um, from my mother here that says go Shay not God here okay uh, go Shay it's go Shay I'm sorry to everybody who's from go Shay I've never been to go Shay so that's why I didn't know um, but anyway they lost um, <clears throat> so lost to Gulfport and so now, Germantown, DeSoto Central, still 0-0. But what I was saying is that Terry last season was in arguably the toughest region in the state. They're in the one with Brandon, number one team in the state. You're in there with Warren Central. And now I'm looking at it right now. Warren Central just beat Clinton today, 28-7. to So Warren Central got the win there. Um, matter of fact, my um, one of uh, my professors at Mississippi College he is the play-by-play -play announcer, uh, announcer for Warren Central. But Warren Central was in Terry's region last season. So you got Warren Central, you had Brandon, you had Northwest Rankin, um, you had Meridian, you got Petal, you got uh, Pearl. Just uh, a lot of big schools there in that region, just tough, tough for Terry in that region. They were able to beat Petal on the road, beating Petal. 22-10 uh, to 10 last season. That was the marquee win of last year's season. They started off the season 3-0 and that year. But this this year, and then they had to they had to be the top four out of those eight. Terry ended up finishing seventh, beating out Petal, uh, beating out Pearl, uh, in the region. But they had to beat out four teams. You had to get in the top four of the eight. Now you have to get top four of the six in a region that's not. As difficult. St. Andrews beating West Lincoln 24 to 3. Two minutes until second half begins right here from Bulldog Field. Biloxi beating Stone 44 to 14. Yazoo County beating South Delta 33 to 8. Poplarville taking a loss to Jefferson Davis County 32 to 14, losing that home game. They were ranked 23rd 
in the state prior to that contest. Now they get beat 32-14 to at home. Now Picayune Brandon, that's a big ball game. They are live right now in the third quarter. The score is Picayune 14, Brandon 7. That is live right now from Bulldog Stadium in Brandon. Richland gets the win over Mitt County, 13-6 at home. Callaway beats Provine, 32 to nothing. And um, so, and we've got that. So this year, and this is another special announcement we have from the TSW Network, we are bringing JPS football. We have three, three games that we're bringing JPS football on the TSJW Network. Uh, they're coming up on September 28th. Uh, we got October 19th and October 26th. So on September 28th, we will be bringing you Provine versus Jim Hill. Both Provine and Jim Hill both have gotten shut, shut out today. They will play each other on September 28th. That will be at Hughes Field. We will be bringing that one to you right here on the TSW Network. Murrah and Lanier on October 19th from Hughes Field. Um, we will be bringing that one on October 19th. I haven't seen any scores from Murrah here today. Um, Forest Hill and Jim Hill, October 26th. That will be at Hughes Field as well. We are bringing those three JPS football games right here on the TSJW Network. We want you to tune in to that as well. Vicksburg playing Holmes County Central tonight at, in Vicksburg. Vicksburg ranked 24th in the state. They are on Terry's schedule. They will be taking on the Terry Bulldogs at, uh, here at Bulldog Field on September 22nd. But folks, we turn our attention right here to Bulldog Field here at Terry, Mississippi. Now, I'm looking at the chat a little bit. Lil Will says, let's come hard second half Rangers. Pulling for his Raymond Rangers. Um, uh, April Sanders says, yeah, some are sleepy, but lucky it's Friday night. Yes, you don't have to get up um, for school tomorrow morning. Lil Will says, yes, ain't no high school. Used to playing at 11 p.m. Scary Cat Meow uh, says, I think they've trained pretty hard. I wouldn't be surprised if they are sore. Mona's World says, they're good. If they were home, they'd be playing video games. Facts. Uh, probably probably true there. Lamisha Taylor gives us the update. Brandon just lost to Picayune. So Picayune closed out Brandon at Bulldog Stadium. That is something else. But, folks, we are here at Bulldog Field, and we will bring you second half action. Right here, that was the Vowels Marketplace Halftime Report. We appreciate Vowels for sponsoring the TSW Network coverage of Terry Bulldogs football and right now. Uh, the Vowels Marketplace is the official grocery store of TSW Network's coverage of Terry High School football. And, folks, if you go in Byron Byron, just popping up business after business after business, Vowels is a good grocery store. I've been up in there. Go went up in there. Um, I go shopping there. They've got it all up in there, and um, definitely very good people there. Very nice people. Uh, good management there at the Vowels Marketplace in Byron, Mississippi. We appreciate them being the sponsor for our halftime report. That closes out the halftime report right here on the TSJW Network, and we will be bringing you second half action right here. No, no, don't start the clock till the, court, till the second half begins. Are you on third quarter now? Yeah, I'm on the third quarter. No, I'm saying you're on, third, on the third quarter. Oh, yeah, I'm on the third quarter. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Good job. How Thank zoomed you. in are you? No, no, I'm, I was just asking you how zoomed in you are. I'm sorry? I don't worry about it. No, no, no I'm on here. I was asking how zoomed in are you.
Second half action's about to get underway here shortly, right here. Terry Bulldogs football on the TSJW Network. The Bulldogs came out strong in the first half as Coach Thigpen thought they would. We interviewed them at center at half field to ask him what he thought about it. He said he thought the guys would be ready to go, and they were. Hit the field hard, doing well right here. Uh, and it's a 25 to nothing ball game. And so one player who's really impressed here in this first half is Titus Kelly. Titus Kelly with a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown for this Bulldogs team. He played uh, quarterback a little bit there at the end of the season. The last two games he played quarterback, and both those games, not they weren't the best games. I mean, the last game was a shutout and everything, but apparently he put in the serious work here in the offseason. He is looking sharp here today. His passes are on the money, looking real good. Titus Kelly has done it up today. Folks, while I have you right here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button to the TSJW Network. Also, turn those notifications on while you have it. And, folks, thank you for joining us. Terry Bulldogs football on the TSJ Network. We're bringing you this Terry Bulldogs football season, and we definitely appreciate your viewership and you being here to watch this ball game. Be sure to check out the show, the South 78 football show presented by CPA Realty. That is every Wednesday. Uh, we posted it this morning, and so just be sure to check that out. The one from Wednesday even though this game is, uh, we're in the middle of this game, and after this game's over, this game will pass. You still should check out that show. We had a lot of cool things, like with some interviews with Raymond players and uh, Terry players and uh, coaches as well. So be sure to check that out. Thank you, folks, for joining us. We have second half action right ahead, right here on the TSN Network. Thank you, Terry. All right, the Bulldogs back to kick this kickoff. They're going to send it to the Raymond Rangers, and they will send it down there. And now receiving it now is Dietrich Hartfield, and he will run through the middle, and he will be hit and pulled down right there at the 30-yard line. Good tackle there from Donald Passmore, making that happen. And now the Raymond Rangers will start their drive, their first drive of the second half from their own 30-yard line. Twenty-five to zero ball game. Eleven forty remaining. Eleven thirty-nine to go. Twenty-five to zero. The ball at the thirty-one yard line in their the Rangers' own territory. Tylen Bunley has given a very valiant effort, but it has been a struggle for him and his Ranger teammates. The Rangers have two receivers. One out wide right and one out wide left. There we go, the handoff. Kasten, and he's going to be brought down right there where he started, maybe even a loss. That's will bring up second down. 
No game on the play. Let's take a second down the ring. The ball at the 30-yard line. They lost a yard there on that play. Second down and 11 yards to go for the Rangers. So here's the snap. Bundley with the fake. He's moving to his right. He's got a little bit of space. He's looking to throw, and he'd be pushed down. Right about the 27-yard line, a loss of three, and they're going to look at a third down and 14 situation. So they've got a freshman in the backfield, too, and Dalton Terry. Folks, freshmen are being played out here for Raymond, and that is definitely a sign of rebuilding, and the Rangers definitely being handled by the older Terry Bulldogs. And you like to see that if you're a Terry fan. If you're a Raymond fan, you just got to be patient because these young guys, they look – like they have a good amount of talent for these Rangers. Balls at the 25-yard line. Trying to get to the 41. A third down at 16. Trying to convert on this third down. Bunley will get the snap. He's back to throw. He's looking. He will fire it down the field. This is a bomb down the field, and that one was tipped and nearly intercepted. Oh, man. R.J. Hall got a tip on it, and it was right on the fingertips of Donald Passmore. You know he was back there asking them to pass more, and it went through his hands. So it's incomplete. And so that will bring up fourth down, and Tylen Bunley will punt this one away. Passmore will be back to receive. He's already got a punt return for a touchdown a little bit earlier there in that second quarter. And now he will be looking to take this one back here today. It will be Donald Passmore and R.J. Hall back to receive. R.J. Hall had a good he, – he contributed mightily on that first touchdown drive uh, with the one where – there was the pass to Nick Rogers for his touchdown. R.J. Hall had two good ones. Oh, that's a bad punt there from Bunley. And that one will bounce in a Raymond direction and will be picked up at the 49-yard line. It doesn't get past half field and will stay in Bulldog and in, uh, in Raymond Ranger territory. This ball is going to be spotted. It's a favorable – oh, a favorable spot for Raymond, and it will be across half field and it will be at the – 49 and a half yard line in Bulldog territory. That's where the Bulldogs will start their first offensive drive of the second half. 9.28 to go in the third quarter. Folks, thank you for sticking with us. It is late 11.34, 26 minutes until it is August 26. We will make it into Saturday in this ball game, it looks like. So that's Ashton Fair on the handoff to Jordan McGee, and McGee was tripped up and pulled down right there at the, about the 48, 49, or 48 yard line. I think it'll be spotted at the 49, gaining a yard, bringing up second down at nine. Just over nine minutes to play in the third quarter. The ball's back, he's throwing it, and it will be caught. Oh, he pulls it in, and he's going to be pushed from behind. That right there was Don, was uh, Donovan Young on the reception, and it will be a good game. There to it looks like the 43-yard line. He's got three yards to go. Third down. Down eight and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Back, and the shotgun is fair. He'll hand it off, and that's McGee. McGee around the left. He makes a move, and he'll be tripped up again. Doesn't get much on that one. Down at the 44, lost a yard. That's going to be fourth down and four to go, and the Rangers get the stop. I don't know if the Bulldogs might be going for it here. It's looking like they're going to go for it. They're running Ashton Fair at the quarterback now for these Bulldogs. Hey, 
And your Bulldogs will go for it on fourth down. So the Bulldogs are going for it on fourth down. Now looking at a fourth down and three. Ashton Fair back in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, one to the left with McGee behind Fair. Now here's the shotgun. Here's the handoff to McGee. McGee through the middle. Oh, he's finding some room, and he's pulled down. And right there around the first down, Marker, will it be – where's the spot going to be? And they say he did not make it is what it looks like. It looks like he did not make it. Barely misses the first down marker. Turnover on downs for the Bulldogs. The second turnover on downs of this game. And he is short. So it's just short of that first down marker. And Raven will take over on downs. The Rangers will get the ball right there at about that 43-yard line. So it looks like we're at 598 subscribers, gaining 38, or I think 48 since this game started. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, let's get to that 600 number right here today. Had a lot of viewers in this ball game. A lot of excitement going into this game between Raymond and Terry. Ball at the 41-yard line in the Rangers' own territory. Raven will start on their 41-yard line. Bunley in the shotgun. Being pressured a little bit, the defense showing. And there will be a handoff there and wrapped up real good was Corbin Hill. And Hill brought down for a big loss there around the 35-yard line, a loss of five, bringing up a second down and 15 to go. Folks, at some point in time in this second half, we're probably going to have to step aside and kind of let the stream just go without commentary because – I think we're needing a little bit more charge on some of our equipment. This game has gone long. We've nearly been streaming for four hours. Not going to be a normal occurrence. 35-yard line is where the Rangers have it. Second and 15. Pushing through the middle. It's a run, moving the pile a little bit. Going to get down to the 42. It's a gain of seven or so, about a six or so. Second down and 11. Third down. 25 nothing is the score. Here we go, and the shotgun is Bunley. They're trying to give Max protection, and now got yellow on the field. 5.47 to go in the third quarter. The Bulldogs jump off sides, and so now it's third down and six. King, what's the percentage? All right, folks, we're going to step aside, and we're going to keep the stream going, but step aside from the audio here.
and the Terry defense stopped him short. It will bring a fourth down for Raymond. Injury on the play. folks we stepped aside um, to let the equipment charge a little bit um, we're gonna have to do that again but I'm trying the Bulldogs now are in the red zone so we'll try to get this here Bulldogs trying to get another one here they're at the five yard line a big run there by Ronde Baker Allowing the Bulldogs to be back in the red zone again. You got two receivers to the right, one to the left. Ashton Fair in the shotgun with Baker right behind him, running the tailback. Here's the snap, and now a fake. Now Fair's going to run through the middle. He pushes in, and it will be in the end zone. Touchdown! Terry Ashton Fair gets in the end zone for his first ever touchdown as a Terry Bulldog. Ashton Fair finds the end zone 31 to zip Bulldogs in full control over the Raymond Rangers. And this year it is belonging to Terry. Terry has ruled and schooled in this ball game. And it's good to see if you're a Bulldogs fan. And so now the extra point will be set up now for the Bulldogs. They will try to sit up for the extra point, 31 to zero. The Bulldogs have failed on three point after touchdown attempts. That snap is good. That kick is not. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It got, it was going low and it got popped up. Got, got blocked up in through the cold post. And so it's good. 32 to zero. The Bulldogs in full control over the Raymond Rangers. We're going to step aside and we're going to let this stuff charge. We will be back. Five. It seems he's going 
charge, then not charge. Charge, not charge. It, it, I'm messing with it, King. Uh, And now Terry, set to kick it off three. Third down for the Raven Ring.
Terry will kick it off. Start a lot. 
Raven will put it away. a little bit of a tussle there between Bailey and Raymond and players. And so they had to break that one up. And so we'll see what makes of this. I don't think anything is. I think we're going to go on to the next play. Come on, play that is by right. So this fourth quarter is brought to you by Tire Depot, the official car shop of the TSM Network's broadcast of the Terry High School Bulldogs football season. Here it goes back, and that's going to be... Tylen's going to get through there and be... Knocked down there. Ball now spotted at the 48 in Bulldogs territory. Raymond's got it. They're down 39 and nothing. Looking to get on the board here. 9.20 to go in the game. Balls at the 48, and we're having some issues here with the charge. And this, uh, it might go out, um, but we're getting pretty close to the end now. 8.50 to go, 39 to nothing. Terry in the lead. And now here's the run here. So Madra Moffitt, oh, to the outside, going to be pulled down at the 35 yard line. Raymond with the long run. It'll be a first down. And so a good, break. sizable run for Raymond, and now. They're going to try to at least get out of here without being shut out by the, their rivals, the Bulldogs. Just over eight minutes to play. Ball spotted at the 34-yard line for a first down for Raymond. They're going to send two receivers to the right, one to the left. Tylen Bunley. We'll get the snap. He's back to throw. He will toss it down the field. A bomb to Amadra Moffitt, who pulls it in. What a pass. What a catch. Slightly of a goofy pass, but Moffitt able to pull it in at the eight-yard line. It's now the Rangers in really close proximity to get on the board. And the Bulldogs trying to shut down their rivals. Shut them out completely. 7.49 to play in the ball game. Fumble, but they're not. They're gonna call him down on the play. Seven minutes to go in the game. The Rangers really want to get in.
So here we go. Here's the run. Oh, and he's trying to get in. He stopped up. I don't know if they're if he's in for the touchdown. I think they're going to call him short. I think he's still short. I think he's at the one. That's going to bring up a third down and goal for the Rangers. 6.20 to go in this game. And, folks, we hope we make it to the end. Tire Depot brings you this fourth quarter. Bulldogs lead 39-0. to zero. But the Rangers have the ball at the Bulldogs' one-yard line. They're trying to get on the board and avoid a shutout in the opening game of this season. It's going to be a short ride home and a tough ride home if they get shut out here today. Under center. They're trying to push in with the quarter QB sneak. And the Bulldogs, I think they might have stopped them. I don't know what the call is going to be. What do they call it at the end zone? They call him short. He's short. He could not make it that yard and it's fourth down and goal. And I think they're going to give it one more try. I think, I think Bunley thought he was in the end zone. But they called him short. So they get one more shot at it. At the half yard line right in front of the end zone. The Bulldogs are going to try to goal line stand them to just add insult to injury. Folks, it looks like we might be at the end of our rope on this stream. But folks, if so, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now on the TSU Network. Here we go. This may be one of the last plays we get here on this stream. The Bulldogs are going to win this ball game, but we'll see if they can get the shutout. They try to sneak it in. Are they going to be able to sneak it in? I think they got shut down. I think they got shut down in the goal line. What's the call? They call them turnaround downs on goal line stand for the Bulldogs. And how about that to add insult to injury for these Raymond Rangers? They can't get in the end zone even at the half yard line. They had inches to go and the Bulldogs shut them down. So it's Bulldogs ball at the goal line going the other way. It remains 39 to zero with just under four and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Clock's ticking away. Four, wait, 421 now to go. Bulldogs are rocking here tonight. A good way to start the season off. Last season, it was 14 to 7 win for Terry over the Rangers, but it was at Raymond. The field was in weird condition. It was muddy. But the Bulldogs won the ball game by a touchdown. Tonight, different story. It's here at Bulldog Field, and the Bulldogs blew them out 39 to nothing so far. 4.21 to go in the ball game. Just want to say if we go out, appreciate King Williams for doing the camera and the scoreboard as well. We are close to the end of the ropes on this stream. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to the TSJW Network YouTube channel. This fourth quarter is brought to you by Tire Depot, the official car shop of the TSU Network's coverage of Terry Bulldogs football. We are at 599 subscribers. We need one more to get to 600. Please subscribe. There's the fake Ashton Fair to the left. He's coming around. He's pushing the guy off. He goes out of bounds a little bit past the 15-yard line. A big game there for Ashton Fair. They were at their own one-yard line. And it was something else. A good play there by Fair getting out of the backfield. There we go. Oh, a run. Oh, it's a big run. He's got more room. And he gets pulled down at the 48-yard line. A big run there. Ed Jones takes it all the way down to midfield. It'll be another first down for Terry High School. That was Jakevian Jones with a big run to the 49-yard line. Now it's fair in the shotgun. He gets it. He fakes the handoff fair to the outside he pushes through and he's down right there at about the 47 yard line in Raymond territory the Bulldogs trying to make another run at it
Ball in Raymond territory at the 48-yard line. Game's now down with two and a half minutes to go. People are starting to file out a little bit here at Bulldog Field. This ball game is about over. Two and a half minutes to go. Fair in the shotgun. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. He fakes the handoff. Fair to the left. Fair has some room. Fair through the middle. Oh, he barreled over the man. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. He points, says, I got the first down. What a play by Ashton Fair. Two minutes to play. Folks, we might be able to make it to the end. But the Terry Bulldogs will do this first game in prime fashion, folks. A big time win. 39 and nothing they lead. 155 to go. The handoff to JJ Jones. There's a flag on the field. And it's 150 to go, but this clock's running. We're in mercy rule territory, folks. 39 and nothing. The Bulldogs. It's a party here at Bulldog Field. Ashton Fair doing his own little dance move. The Bulldogs lead 39 to nothing. Fair talking to the sideline. Clock's running. Under a minute and a half to go in this ball game. South 78, Crew Holla. The Bulldogs lead 39 to nothing. Ball now at the 35 yard line. Fair in the shotgun. He will get the snap. He's back to throw. He will throw it. He's a lefty. Oh, nearly picked, but it is through the hands there. Back at the 35, second down now. Now we're down to 47 seconds, 46. Now a handoff over to J.J. Jones. Jones through the middle. Oh, he pushes through past the 30-yard line, down to the 28. And you don't, J.J. Jones, it looks like he's okay. You definitely don't want to see an injury at this point. It's a meaningless point of a game, folks. We're down 30 seconds to go in the ball game. The Terry Bulldogs lead 39 to nothing. A commanding win here for the opening night of the season. 1-0 Terry Bulldogs. The Raymond Rangers will fall to 0-1. The question for the Rangers is, do you let this game get you down? You can't let this get you down. You got to bounce back. This is a 6'8 football team. The Terry Bulldogs are supposed to win this ball game. But you got to just move on to the next game. They will play Kapaya Academy on the road. As this clock runs out, folks, the Terry Bulldogs win the first game of the season by a score of 39 to nothing. They beat the Raymond Rangers, their rivals, right here at home at Bulldog Field. Folks, thank you for joining us. This is TSNM Network coverage of Terry Bulldogs football. Folks, please subscribe to the TSNM Network. We are one subscriber away from 600 subscribers, but thank you for joining us. Everybody's dancing on the field. The Bulldogs win 39-0. That was the Tire Depot fourth quarter. It went by really quickly. The Bulldogs win in mercy rule fashion by a score of 39 to nothing. Folks, thank you for joining us right here with me. King Williams on the camera. Chris Colbank did a little bit of commentating with us at the beginning. We appreciate him for sure for making the trip down here to do it. Folks, thank you for joining us. This is TSW Network coverage of Terry Bulldogs football. We've got the show on Wednesday. We've got football next week here at Bulldog Field to take on Pure Academy from Memphis, Tennessee. We'll see you then. Folks, this is TSM Network coverage of